Hello, everybody. Uh, we are back for a fun little fight. Uh, announcements, though, before we begin. Uh, I don't have any myself. Uh, Sam, do you got any? <clears throat> Still working on Sunday game. We're, uh, we should hopefully, we, we, went, we met and we worked on character stuff on Sunday, and we should hopefully be working on our, uh, playing our first one shot off screen, uh, this Sunday, this Sunday, coming up. Woo! Fun! Um, Kate, anything for you? No new changes? Check out, uh, Etsy shop at, uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash KateCrestDDO US, or Etsy.com slash shop slash Bad Dice Co., for any D and D or handmade crochet gifts you may have this upcoming uh, St. Patrick's Day is the next one. I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> I think yesterday was Pancake Day. If you celebrate that holiday thing, um, I like pancakes. But cool, support Kate because they're great. All right. So last we left off, you all wandered a haunted house, fought things that had spawned in each room. They were gross and weird, but they all died relatively easily. I think Flitz had the worst time, but hey, everybody had a good time. Um, and eventually, you all slowly started to meet up. Uh, Henry had turned into, Henrifex had turned into a pit fiend and was blowing up the cellar. Uh, you all eventually reconvened in the child's bedroom, and uh, uh, Coin and Yvonne were separated still and found a weird clock in the house, and in the clock was the house's heart, apparently, or so something like that, and Yvonne just kind of squeezed the heart, which caused the house to kind of explode in a harmless sort of flash of light, revealing a staircase descending downwards beneath the property. And as you all made your way down, you heard this cacophony of laughter, screaming, moaning, some guy yelling dongs amidst the cacophony, and, um basically came into a chamber that was covered floor to ceiling in this red doughy kind of substance covered in eyes and mouths screaming and yelling and shouting um and as you all kind of come to the bottom of the stairs and step in this doughy material it's, it's a lot like walking through think of walking through knee-high chewing gum gross that's been chewed up extensively and wet uh but yeah we're all going to roll initiative, which has already been done, but I still need Eclipse's initiative. 26. 26. Uh, cool. I think we misheard you. I thought you said Flitz before. Cool beans. Like, actually, you know what? Uh, is Henry actually planning on popping that out? Yeah. Roll mm -hmm. initiative for that, too. Oh, yeah. Let me... Let's he pull it out. You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out on initiative 11. <laughs> oh, 11? We see a gibbering mouth. Uh, yeah, that's, well, that's what, that's what I got, so... Uh -oh. This guy's got his separate, his own separate. Yeah. Let me pull up what it's. And obviously, if he goes higher than Henry, then he doesn't go until Henry. Right. Yeah. Pulls it out. Yeah. Let's see. Spit <laughs> out, Henry. Minus one yeah, initiative. I already missed Okay, I got a four. I'm already missing Yvonne. Then. Perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as you all get to the bottom of this staircase and enter this chamber, this cacophonous like laughter and screaming and moaning happens, and it's just it's kind of weird feeling. An eclipse. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm so great at those. Uh, you get a. You do get a plus one to that. Oh, sweet. Thanks, coin. Uh, I'm gonna use my tiger as I die. As okay. You can feel this, like... <laughs> hey, uh, how's it going? Twenty-four, twenty-five total. Succeeds. You get Whoa. your. You get your turn. Oh shit! That's terrifying. Oh, and also, uh. The floor. Oh, also, is lava. sorry. I also need a strength saving throw. I'm not good at those. Oh, that's a seventeen. Seventeen. Plus one. Yeah, that's with the plus one. Your speed is not reduced to zero until your next turn. Dang. Mm. Damn, that would have been real bad for me. So you have your um, turn, but this ground is difficult terrain. Cool. Um, and also, this map doesn't snap because I had to make it look nice, and it, I can't have it snap to the grid and have layers. So there you go. Yeah. Um, let me double check what spells I have. Um. I. Hmm. I would like to pull out uh, Das Loot and das cast loot. Uh, Levitate on myself. Okay. 
Uh, so that I don't have to fuck around with difficult terrain. So just so you know, for levitate, you you can't oh. move while levitating. To move with low levitating, you have to pull oh, that's yourself right. along. No, I'm gonna... Things. Do I have fly? I don't think so. I do have fly on Das Loot. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna use a charge and cast fly. Okay. Um, on myself. Sure. Um, as what, my action. What does it sound like when you play the flute, the lute, to make yourself fly? Um... <sighs> It sounds like a copywritten song, uh, maybe by the Eagles. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I thought it was, was going to be a copywritten no. song, frequently frequently no, requested. Eight miles high by the birds. Uh, I thought it was going to be a copyrighted song that is frequently requested as an encore. Yeah. Nice. Frequently. No, not that one. Fly me Free to the moon. Free. That one? Yeah. Free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so you start. You have a fly speed now. Uh, also, yeah, just so you know, uh, anyone who fails that spring save, it's all of your speeds gotcha. that's reduced to zero, not just your walking speed. Your entire speed Ooh, is reduced gross. because you can't get gotcha. out of the bubble okay. zone. So my speed is now 60 feet per round. Um. Yep, flying. I, I'm i going to fly uh, with my movement. Uh, use my movement just to... What's 60? Let me get a tool out. A um, tool's probably not going to help you out too much here. Because it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not a line. Oh, it's not, not to scale. Yeah. I mean, it kind of is. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm. yeah sort it's of. It's kind of to scale. Sort of. Not really. I'll go short of 60 feet, because uh, I don't want to go that far from anyone. Um, uh, I'm going to fuck around with uh, that tentacle. Okay. Go away, sir. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to zoom over to this dude. Okay, cool. Uh, and that'll be, uh, bonus sections. Um. And I'll give a bonus action, uh, before I fly away, I'm gonna give a bonus action, bless, no, bardic inspiration, to... 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 Blitz. Okay. Because he seems like he needs it. <laughs> oh. It's a D what? He seems like he needs needs it. No, what's the what's the oh. dice? It's a D eight, right? Burr, it's cold in here. <laughs> there must be a favorite in the atmosphere. I said burr. It's cold in here. There must be a favorite in the atmosphere. <laughs> D eight, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, so that is a D6. 1d6 you can oh, add to your attack rolls or saving ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws. Or you can also add it to any healing spells or attack spells. Wow, attack beautiful. Eclipse's wow. Only, Eclipse, Eclipse is, is only, College of Swords. And also a fourth level bard, so yeah, D6. Yeah. Cute. Alrighty. Coin, strength saving throw, and then a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, sir. Here they go. I believe oh, you're on Druck's shoulder. Actually, you are on oh, Druck's yeah, 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 shoulder, right? So just a wisdom saving throw then, not a strength saving throw, because you're not on the ground. All right, so I'll do a wisdom saving throw then, because that was my strength saving throw, but I'm glad I'm on his shoulder. As you hear this cause... weird, incoherent gibbering, just... <laughs> Dongs. Okay, so that was a 14 total. 14. Roll me a D8. You got it. So you can't take reactions until the start of your next turn. So roll me a d8 to see what you do on this turn. Okay. <clears throat> oh no. The dice are telling a tale. Five. A five. Okay. You take no actions or bonus actions this turn. Roll me a d4. Oh, pisser. So many rolls. All right. And a boom. I really had a plan with this first turn. Four. Four. Okay. Four. You fly... What's your movement? What's your flying speed? Because I'm going to assume you're just going to be flying for this. Uh, It's 60 feet. 60 feet. Okay. You fly back 20 feet and hit the wall, and that's your movement. You move in a random direction, so you fly back 20 feet into that wall and just kind of chill there. Oh, and you said... So you said this isn't scale? Yeah, no. You just fly backwards 20 feet, so two squares. Oh. Oh, so or, oh, 10? So they're 10? 10, 10 so you, yeah, so you just hit the wall, because you fly in a single direction, you don't change direction, 
for what you got. Okay. So that's your turn right there. Is it roughly? It'd be okay, yeah, right so... there. Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. I just wanted to establish roughly what the squares. Are. I know you said they're not exact, but yeah, each square is five feet. But yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll fly back ten and All hit right. the wall. I hit the wall regardless. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's your turn. But I'm still on. No, you're you're uh, off you're off the rock now. Yes, but when I hit the wall, do I stick like gum? Or no, 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 off? no, no, no. You're not like fully okay. like you're not like submerging yourself. You just kind of that's as far as you can go. But I still am. I, I just wanted to make sure that I'm not stuck to it. You're not I'm, stuck so to I'm flo it. Floating next to it. Yeah, and then you kind of snap okay. out of it, but you still don't get reactions until the start of your next turn. Damn. So no actions, bone action, nope. actions or reactions. Ooh. That's why jibbing mothers are scary. That was rough. Druck, strength saving throw, then a wisdom saving throw, please. All right. Also, I had plans. Oh, coin. You, you, uh, anyone who's got has eyes. When you fight this thing, your saving throws against this thing reduce the number, subtract what you roll by the number of eyes you have. On save. Oh, Damn. So that's minus three. Uh, minus three. Three. That's eleven minus three, because I'm within ten feet of coin, so I'm get, add, get to add one. Yeah. Uh, so eleven minus three is nine for the strength. So you have a speed of zero until the next turn. Okay. So you're rooted to the spot. And nineteen for the wisdom. And that's minus three. Yes. Okay. I yeah. rolled a twenty-two. You have your turn. You just have no movement. Cool. Oh man, it's gonna be rough getting to that rift. Um. Okay. So that means. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna use the nine life stealer mm -hmm. and uh, bonus action. Uh, steady aim. This and steady aim uses movement, though, and you don't have any movement. It it doesn't, like, it, you just can't have used your movement. And then it, it let's see. Let's uh, let's read it, because I, I might be, uh, I could definitely be wrong. Let me uh, see where that says it. Steady aim. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah. Okay. You don't need advantage because obviously, or to get sneak attack, oh, you don't need to get advantage. But yeah, sneak attack is going to be a thing constantly because everyone is going to be within five feet of it at all times. Yeah, I, I just I, I'd prefer to have advantage. Sure, go for it. Um. Okay. So nine lives stealer. Here we go. Uh, twenty nine to hit. That hits. Uh, four. Um. Ooh, that's a good roll. Uh, for 48 nice. piercing damage. Hell yeah. Sweet. Why won't I... Why can't I damage you? There we go. Anything else? Uh, that used everything that I have. 48 cool. piercing damage. End of your turn. It's going to use a legendary action to... Retaliate against you with a tendril attack. That's one of these like big fleshy tendrils just... <laughs> And slams into you. Okay. And that'll be a 16 to hit. Miss. Okay. Cool. Somehow it misses you as you adhere to the spot. Uh, cool. Oof. That'll bring us to our lair action, I think. Oh boy. I know. Uh, so everyone on the ground, so coin and eclipse, you'll be okay. Um,. You all watch as a tidal wave of this creature's flesh swells Ugh. and crashes down. I need Ugh. Druk. I need Ugh. everybody but Eclipse and Coin to make uh, strength saving throws minus the number of eyes you have. This is going to oh. be oh. rough. Eclipse, you have inspiration. Ten. Ten. No, I don't think it's worth it. One. One. Okay. 18. 18. Okay. I'm going to be stuck in this spot for the whole battle. All right. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to put down so, that rift. <laughs> uh, sorry, Druk, what'd you get? You got one, right? I got one. 22 bludgeoning damage. All right. <gasps> uh, I'm going to uncanny damage. And as it hits you, you do feel it bubbling I and think, singeing wait. you as acid, so there's more, more dice I have to roll after that. But yeah, 22 bludgeoning damage. 
Wait, uncanny dodge is only weapon attacks, right? And this wouldn't count Correct. for that. Okay. They yeah, attack rolls. Uncanny dodge is only for attack rolls. Okay. Uh, all right. That was twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two bludgeoning damage. All right. Flitz, what'd you get? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Twenty-two bludgeoning damage. Uh, Henry, what'd you get? Ten. Twenty-two bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Uh, that was everybody. Oh, I forgot to roll for Avon. 23, so Avon takes 11. Okay. But because it's bludgeoning damage. Oh, yeah, she's not. Yeah, yeah never mind. I kept thinking she was. And then... She's not a barbarian. Or nope. whatever. And then. Since everybody failed, everyone, uh, so Druck, Flitz, and Henry also take an additional 24 acid damage. Owie, I am owie. resistant to acid. So you take 12. 24 acid damage. <laughs> and anyone who failed is knocked prone. Oh boy. Oof. So, Flitz, How do Henry. we mark that? Oh, I'll, I got little tokens to do that with. Okay. Where is my prone one? This is fun. Prone. No, I don't want hasted. No one's hasted. That, that's not. No, no one's hasted. No, no. Okay. Prone. Yes. Prone. Those are big. Holy shit. That's good. Prone. Prone. Oh, that's working way better. Who else is prone? Henry. Cool. Uh, that's that. Yep. Cool. That'll bring us to the gibbering titan. Oh boy. Let's see here. Who's having a good time here? Uh, it's gonna make a tendril attack on Eclipse. Ah, uh, of course it is. Keep in mind what you're resistant and immune to, because, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a f only a 14 to hit. Uh, misses. Cool. Another tendril is going to go for one of the prone people. I think it's going to go for Henry. Okay. For a 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah. You take 18 bludgeoning damage. Owie. And... Strength saving throw, please. Oh, boy. Uh, four. You're grappled and restrained as a tendril just wraps around oh you. Oh, boy. So prone, grappled, restrained. Great. Beautiful. <laughs> I haven't even had a turn yet, and I've taken, like, 60 damage. Well, speaking of, Henry. All right. Start of your turn. I need a strength save. <laughs> you don't have no movement anyway, so I'm not going to worry about the strength saving throw. I do need a okay. wisdom saving throw, though. Wisdom save? Okay. Yep. Plus... Wow. One. Plus one. Wow. wow. I got an 11. I rolled a three. Oh, roll me a D8. Oh. All right. So you have no reactions until the start of your next turn. Uh, three. You do nothing on this turn. Cool. Good talk. <laughs> Fuck. See y'all next <laughs> session. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, end of your turn. It's going to use a legendary action to do Cacophony of Madness, and it's going to look at Eclipse. We're not mm -hmm. gonna look at all the eyes are gonna focus on you, and the it starts to laugh with this like cacophonous, maddening laughter, and it starts to like tickle your brain a little bit, like hey, that is kind of funny. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, as okay. it casts hideous so, laughter. So that so far that's been two legendary actions and a lair action, and its actual turn. Yeah, cool. Um. Okay. <sighs> Damn it. Um, is there anything? Did we get a short rest? No. No? Okay. Um, is this, uh, a fright, causing a frightened condition? No, it's just hideous laughter. Okay. Uh, it's a 10. 10. Cool. You start laughing. You think this laughter is hilarious and you want to join in. So, you fall prone. Okay. And are incapacitated. At the end of your turns, anytime you take damage, you can make a wisdom saving throw. If you take damage, uh, 
you have advantage on the save. But you are currently prone and incapacitated as you just fall. How high up are you? Uh, it's only five feet up. Okay, so no. I'm just trying to avoid difficult terrain. So no bludgeoning damage, but you are prone and incapacitated. That's fun. Wow. Uh, Avon's go, which is going to be strength and wisdom. Natural one for the strength, so they can't move. <laughs> Bringing us to yet. Yeah, that sucks. Wisdom save. And let's oh, no. roll a d8 for them. We're all rolling like shit. Three. They don't get a turn. <laughs> Flitz. Uh, strength save. So strength and then wisdom. Yeah. Eight. So you're prone. <laughs> for the strength. And uh, then. Wisdom. Is this a magical effect? It is not. It's just this. It's just trying to resist this cacophonous, weird, confusing laughter. Okay. Um. But it's minus one. Because you have an eye. Yeah. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Uh, I rolled a natural 15 plus two is 17 plus six is 21. Succeeds, you get your turn, but you have no movement. That's fine. Um, Flitz, he's on the ground. He looks around, seeing everybody just fucking discombobulated. Uh, he's going to call out... Uh, let the winds take you, and he's going to um, quicken spell scatter. Um, and so he is going to scatter the group. Um, okay. And if you res if you're unwilling, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. But I am going to place you in an unoccupied space within 120 feet of Flitz. Woo! So, do it. Uh, I think I'm missing. Eclipse. Anyone who's prone will still be prone. Uh, yeah, I'm missing okay. Eclipse because it's in within 30 feet of. Flitz, but I can place y'all within 120 feet of Flitz. Yeah. Put I'm like 50 feet away. I'm putting Druck. Does Henry show to... put me next to a wall? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, he told the wind to take you. Uh, sorry, I'm going to move Druck. Druck, you're going to go right up by the rift. Boo -boo. Yep, that's where I need to be. Um, still prone. Sorry, yep, I can't move prone. that little thing. Um, Queen. Fuck. Queen, I'm going to put you... Uh, I'm gonna put you. Coin is in the air, just so you know. It's gonna put him on the ground, though. Yeah. Wait, what? Are you unwilling to be scattered? Oh yeah. I, I, I can prefer... move you to a place in the map of my. I'd probably, but you'd be on the ground if he moves I, you. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer to. I can. I can be mobile. Okay. I then. can be mobile. I'm mobile enough. Flitz wouldn't really recognize that, so you'd probably have to. You'd have to make the wisdom save. I'll make the wisdom save. Yeah. Because unwilling, so you plus one because of your ability. It's a DC eighteen. It's one, so it's twenty total. You okay. do not get scattered. So you do not get scattered. Everybody else just gets. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Hen yeah. Henrifex, I'm gonna put you. Uh, I'm gonna sit a market, Justin. I'm gonna put Henrifex like up in this corner over here. Okay. And one of the on the along the wall. I don't know one of those. Sure. Stairs. Boom. Yeah. Um, Yvonne, um... Yvonne... Yeah, Yvonne doesn't want They're to a move. healer. We should put them, like, kind of in the middle of all of us, perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, my goal was to put Yvonne kind of uh, away from the big-ass tentacle. Not like it's going to change much, but Flit sees that thing. Uh, so yeah, Yvonne can make a wisdom save. If I, they don't want to. Move. I did roll yeah. for it, because I forgot, so... We'll ignore that. Where are you throwing them? Oh, um, I'm gonna put Yvonne um, kind of here. Cool. Oh, no. Yeah. Henry. For Henry. Puts his choice. <laughs> what else are you doing, Flitz? Any... Um, it is. That was my bonus action. Yeah. I... Uh. That might not be super accurate, just so you know. Yeah, I know. I'm noticing that it's like, yeah. Um, I can't really do much else. Uh, he is going to, cause yeah, he has disadvantage on all his range mm -hmm. attacks, right? Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, so as the wind kind of picks up everybody and y'all shift from one place to another, um, his hand lights with this electrical energy as he attempts to shock and grasp the ground that he is on. Yeah, go for it. Like, right next to him. Mm. Okay. Um, 28 to hit. 28 hit. With disadvantage? Oh, sorry. 16 to hit. 16 hits. Okay. This thing's not hard Thank to you. hit. It's I a big old, it's a big fucking room sized flesh dough thing. Okay, so that's three D eight. Yeah. Ooh, uh sixteen. Nice. Lightning damage. And and doesn't shocking grass have like another effect that happens if it gets hit? It can't take reactions cool. until the start of its next turn. Sure. Alright. And it did have its turn, so it does have its legendary actions back, which don't count as reactions, but anything else. That is it. Alrighty. Eclipse, you are prone and incapacitated. So end of your turn, because that is mm -hmm. how incapacitated works. Wisdom saving throw. Um, okay. Come on. No, I'm using and Henry is no longer grappled and restrained because he was teleport he was scattered out of the tendril. Oh nice. Um, it's only a twelve. So you're still laughing on the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay. Coin. I just need a wisdom save. Now is my time. Come on, coin. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Oh, boy. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon. 18. 18. You do you have to minus the one that yeah. you get? Because you minus your oh, eye, no. oh, minus oh, your okay. eye plus the 17. whatever you have. Okay, so it's just flat roll for me then. Okay, so seventeen. Yeah, roll a d eight. <laughs> oh, you're cruel. You're so cruel. You feel like you're yeah. almost pushed through it, and then the eye is just like, nope. What is the black circle? Oh, it means I have proficiency. I was yeah. gonna ask what the little black circle means, but <laughs> yep, that's what it means. And if it's a circle around the circle, that means Eight. you're an expert. Eight. Who is in with who is within reach of coin? Flitz. Oh yes. no. Flitz. Roll me a D four. On a one or a two, you attack Flitz. On a three or four, you attack the gibbering Titan. Three or four is Flitz. One or two or... is Flitz. Three or four is the creature. One. And just a single attack. Hi, 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 hi. I'll roll high. No! Aww. All right, buddy. Oh, no! So, <laughs> just make a single attack on Flitz with advantage, because they're prone. Actually, wait. How high up in the air were you? He's 15 feet. Was the sword chained out? No. Then uh, yeah. make an attack against the creature. So, the attack's against the creature, then, not Flitz, because you can't reach Flitz. Okay. This is why we fly. <laughs> oh, I take that back. I'm probably 10 feet in the air because of standing on... Yeah, so you still attack the creature. Sure. So it'd be... Okay. If the, uh, chain... sorry, I just wanted... if the chain was out, then you'd be attacking Flitz. That's... Yeah, that that rhymes. Boy, these rolls. These... This is... Uh... All right. Here we go. And this one attack will be your turn, unfortunately. That's all right. Twenty nine to hit. That hits. You can smite on this because you still have the ability to do that. Wait, can I take a bonus action or is it just the attack? Uh, just the attack. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because it's a okay, so I, does a twenty nine hit. Twenty nine definitely hits. Thank you. As you cut into this weird like it's like, it's like having a you'll you'll know this. It's like having a really dull knife and trying to cut through dough. Ooh. It's like a bench scraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's oh, very much like that. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, not, it's not like it's not like flesh you're cutting away. Was you cut into it? It's like you're cutting away dough. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so I just rolled max damage. Perfect. With a Moldrak Jaeger, and I'm gonna go ahead since this 
God, who knows? This could be my only attack, for Christ's sake. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually do, do it. a level 3 smite. Go for it. So that's 4d8. Correct. And it's not undead. Nope. Okay. I only get this one attack this turn. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So another 21. So 18 nice. plus 21 is 40. Hell yeah. Um, nope. That's 39. Hell yeah. Damage. All right. Uh, that's Coin's turn, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Can't get anything to... I've had... Justin, I've had so many, so many plans. I know. <laughs> Jibbering mouthers right. are messed up. Uh, yeah. Druk, strength saving throw, wisdom saving throw, because you are prone. We'll see if you get any movement to not be prone. Zero so you're for still, strength. So you're still prone, and then a wisdom cool. save minus three, because that's your eyes. Fuck. Nine. D8. Seven. Seven. Uh, are you near anybody? You're not. Make a melee attack with disadvantage against this thing. All right. With the nine life, would be with the nine life stealer because that's the last weapon you used. <clears throat> yep. And it's yeah melee yeah. With disadvantage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Disadvantage. That's a nineteen. Yeah, it still hits though. You're like, you're just like stab. Yeah. No. 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 Nope. Uh, yeah. So that's a total of fifteen damage. Still. That's I rolled pretty well. So yeah. But that's your turn. That that I actually rolled max damage. So. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that's your turn. Oh fuck! I forgot to roll con concentration checks for hideous laughter. Uh. Yeah. I can't, there's no way it's going to be to 40, whatever the fuck it was, for coins. So, Eclipse, you're no longer under the effects of hideous laughter. But you are still prone. You're no longer incapacitated. So that's fun. You're no longer incapacitated. You're no longer laughing. Oof. You're just laying on the ground now. Uh, and you still Someone get me out of this. This, this is terrible. It's, it's, like you're like, it's like you're like stuck in chewing gum. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, like all your hair is like just... Mad yeah. with gum. <laughs> that's um, that's my that's my head cannon for this. It's just, right. just stuck there with his hair. Uh, I think at the end of Druk's turn, it's gonna do a legendary action because I got those back, and it's gonna go for a tendril attack on probably Coin because Coin just did a fuck ton of damage on it with that divine smite. So Coin, you snap out of it again, and the tendrils just like <sighs> comes flying at you for a. 30 to hit. 30. Um, Give me one sec. I think I can maybe do some shit. What can I do? What can I do? What is my shit? So that I have a... Yeah, no, I think even with my good shit. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Damn. All right, cool. It's like someone's making uh, Bang Bang noodles, if you know what those are. With the dough, they like they whip the dough around, and it turns into like these long tendrils of noodle. That's kind of what's happening towards you. Is these noodles, these basically dough noodles, come flying towards you? Mm -hmm. These dough, these noodles, these noodles don't taste good though. Uh, 10, you take seventeen bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I need you to make a strength saving throw minus one. Plus one, so it's a flat roll. Uh, strength saving yep, throw. and a flat strength saving throw. So whatever gotcha. you roll is the number. Plus your rolling it one. on yeah. the table. Yep, yep. Minus one. nineteen. Nineteen is what you needed. You are not grappled and restrained. Yes. Perfect. All right. You did it. Uh, Yay! That'll bring us to lair action. Okay. <laughs> uh. Dr do I do it to Druk? Druk's had a rough go. Do you know who hasn't had a, do you know who hasn't had a rough go though? Yvonne. You all see this mouth open wide somewhere on the creature. I'm gonna say the ceiling. Just a massive mouth of teeth just <laughs> opens up and it goes <laughs> and it spits this blinding spittle towards uh, Yvonne. And within 15 feet, five, ten. <gasps> Eclipse is within 15 feet. So as this this phlegmy spittle explodes, I need Eclipse and Avon to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, I believe okay. you have disadvantage if you're prone. Okay. 
I'm gonna double check that though. No, you don't. I don't. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, the thing that I rolled initially was a eight plus eleven is t- nineteen. Nineteen. You just close your eyes as this mucus ball explodes. I and just a flash flatten of light. further <laughs> on the ground. And then Yvonne needs to make a deck save or be blinded. Oh, eight. Yvonne's blinded. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, that means they can't. Hmm, okay. So yeah, just like, poof. That's fun. All right. Cool. That's a lot of conditions. This is great. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a lot of rounds, I oh, it says It says mommy when I hover over a bone. That's fun. Alrighty. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. That's going to bring us to the Gibbering Titan again. Let's do some tendrils. Let's go for Druk, I think, with one of these. Yay! So this is going to come slamming down on you as you're prone. Mm-hmm. With uh, advantage? Yes. Oh, I rolled two eights. So 19 to hit. Uh, That hits. Okay. So you take you take sixteen bludgeoning damage, mm-hmm. and I need you to make a strength saving throw minus three. Okay, sixteen. I'm gonna because that was an attack. Correct. So I'm gonna uncanny dodge that. Okay. So you take, take eight. eight. Yep. And then I need a strength saving throw minus three. Okay. These aren't going to go well. Yeah, that's uh, plus one. No, I don't have the plus one. Or I mean, like, yeah, I don't have the one from a coin. So, nine. You are grappled and restrained. Yeah. All right. That was the first one, and it's going to... Let me put that in there. Grappled. It's going to replace the other tendril attack with a bite attack, and it's going to go for a bite attack on Druk. Okay. As this massive mouth oh, just... Oh, fuck. I just used my reaction. Damn it. As this, mouth, right. as this massive mouth is just like lo- opens mm. up underneath you mm-hmm. in an attempt to also swallow you. Yeah. I'll be swallowed. 28. Silvery barbs. It. Disadvantage. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. That yeah, hits. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give my advantage to the other advantage to Druk. Okay, thank you. So, you take 23 piercing damage. Okay. And 24 acid damage. Okay. And you are swallowed. So you're no longer grappled or prone. Okay. You are okay. you are now just blinded and restrained. But because of what you have, Uh-oh. I don't think you're actually blinded. Uh, but you're blinded and restrained, and you have total cover against attacks and other effects outside, so you're just in its stomach. Blinded and restrained. In its tum tum. Tum tum. All right. Like Sorry, I, my internet is crazy. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So, blinded and restrained inside the tum tum I'm immune to blinded all right so you're it's it's pitch black in there so you can't see anything but you know I mean I I, I get yeah, it I get it I got, it's just pitch I got black colorful dark vision gotcha cool. uh, <laughs> but your eye restraint in his tum tum uh Henry mm-hmm. strength saving throw wisdom saving throw oh boy let's see if I get a turn Strength yes, is a two. Okay, you're still stuck prone on the ground. All right. And wisdom then wisdom yep. is a nine. Okay. Oof. All right, yep, see you all next session. <laughs> I'll get to play eventually. <laughs> oh, and you have a plus seven to wisdom saves, too. That's rough. Yeah, I rolled a three and a two. <clears throat> okay. Uh, into your turn... Legendary action. Yeah, tendril attack on. Probably coin. For a natural 20. Oh, fuck. 
Yep. Uh, coin, you take 41 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Fuck. And strength saving throw. Minus one, plus one, so flat. Alright. Okay. Alright, alright. Um, strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. Doing it on the tabla. Although I do need to use my sh throne dice because they're very good. Alright, so that's a 13. You're grappled and restrained by the tendril. Cool. I didn't really want to take any of my turns tonight anyway. Uh, hey, Justin. I'm, I'm, that's, how, that's what yeah. I'm going to say. <laughs> did the damage that you did to me, did that get through because I, the d d Beyond got uh, slowed down on my end, so I wasn't sure if the damage you told uh, me that I took got actually put in there? I don't know. Uh, 20, you took 23 piercing and 24 acid so I don't know what you were at before but you're at 88 right now so I think that's about right because I started this whole thing with 19 temporary hit points so okay Avon is blinded strength saving throw 14 can't move wisdom saving throw 19 they have their turn though but they can't see like, how, how long does that last? Oh, they're no longer blinded. That's done now. Okay, cool. Beep, beep, beep. So they can see. And they see Henry over there. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Blitz, do you think you could cast that spell again and put everybody next to each other <laughs> just for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a plan. <laughs> God damn it. We all had plans. <laughs> huh. If everyone could be at least within 60 feet of me, that'd be dope. But I also need a turn for that. Yeah. All right, Every, this is if gonna, everybody could be within. This is gonna be know, fucky. Thirty feet of me. This is gonna be. That fucky. could be good too. Oh no, this is gonna be fucky. Let's see if this works. I was gonna have them banish Henry temporarily, so Henry was no longer like. Wah! But you know, uh, that might not work as intended. Um, fuck it. They're gonna look down at this thing and whip it and say. You're a bad, bad boy, and cast banishment. But then, how um, do I rule it for the people inside of it? Well, that person probably goes with it when it gets banished, because that yeah. makes sense. All right, uh, yeah, it's gonna cast ban. They're gonna try to cast banishment on this thing. Temp, yeah, and then it'll like, have a minute of doing fuck up stuff, and then it'll pop back here. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? This is going to be really fucking stupid and a waste, but they're a 20th level cleric, so you know what I'm going to have them do? Divine Intervention. Yeah, we're at the shot. They got a turn. And uh, since, I mean, as, a, as a level 20... That, as otherwise, a, they... I mean, As a level 20 cleric, your request automatically succeeds, and uh, Divine Intervention can mimic a cleric spell basically what it does you can't wish for anything crazy with it mm -hmm. it mimics the cleric spell so they're gonna call on their deity who i have no idea who it is <laughs> they're just gonna call out to whoever's listening what is something clerics can do uh that would be fun but that's not gonna help out little henry over there i'm doing this to help out henry uh come on come on come on come on Come on. Okay, here we go. No. Man, clerics don't have a lot of cool high-level spells, do they? Um. I think they can cast Wish. No. I mean, <laughs> no. Trickster clerics are pretty good. <laughs> uh. Okay. I think... I figured something out here. No, never mind. Be cool if they had access to other spells that would be more useful in this 
uh, thing. Um, sorry, y'all. That's okay. They're New character. They're continuing to whip this, yeah, and, and a twentieth level character yeah. that yeah. I have to to mess with that yeah. I don't know anything like, about. Um, should be taking in. Yeah, we got twentieth level dudes here, so we <laughs> we should have expected this. <laughs> Come on, twentieth levels. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm really tw trying. Uh, Where's that pit fiend? <laughs> all right, this is gonna be really. Yes, this is gonna be. Something. This is gonna be really <laughs> stupid, and it's gonna be funny. But you know, what's it gotta be stupid? It gotta be stupid. Uh, they're gonna use divine intervention and do something really fucking weird here. They're gonna say, "Hey, let Henry go, or it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna fucking hurt, and this whip's gonna." Whip you even harder, you bad bad boy. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Basically, is gonna do Gius basically, and okay. every time it doesn't oh. let Henry go, it's gonna take psychic damage, but it has to make a wisdom save. Mm. Uh, sorry. That's what I'm doing. Okay. The casting time is a while. <sighs> Sorry. Divine intervention is different, so fuck it. Oh, God's no, it's fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah. The God let's said, fucking no, go. You're awesome. Red. <laughs> yeah. And it rolled a three. Henry! God says it takes an action this time. Let's see. Yeah. It fails. He, like, like, the only reason I didn't take Gius is news was because... So it's charmed. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. So it's, they're just, they're just going to say, let Henry go. You bad, bad boy. On your turn, let Henry go, and if you don't, you'll take 5v10 psychic damage every time you don't. Ooh. Nice. I mean, could I also be let go? <laughs> I got you. I got you. I can help you out on my turn. That's their turn. Flit. Thank you. Flitz. Uh, Once I get one. Flitz. Strength saving throw, wisdom saving throw. No. Uh, strength is a... Negative O. I get is coin still in range, ten feet. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm like whooping around with my map here. All right. Uh, yeah. No, that's a eight. Okay, so you're still prone and stuck in the goo. Um, Wisdom save. Okay, let's see. So, that is a uh, eight. Another eight. You rolled an eight on the D eight. Yeah. No, I rolled an eight on my oh, Wisdom save. Roll me a D eight, please. That's a six. Uh, the creature takes no action or bonus actions and uses all of its movement to move in a randomly determined direction, but you can't move. <laughs> just wiggles. Okay. <laughs> Spin around in a circle. Eclipse. Uh, I'm gonna need, yeah, strength and wisdom because you're lying in the yeah. room. Have you ever been in uh, so a sleeping bag hot. and you do a full three sixty in the sleeping bag while the sleeping bag's still stationary? Yeah. That's yeah. what does. Um, that's only a six on the strength save. Okay, so you're still prone on the ground, stuck in the dough. Now I need a wisdom save. That's a natural 19 plus six, my dude. So you have your turn, but you have no movement. Yeah. Am I still incapacitated? No, that ended because... Uh, okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So from the ground, because um, I have no movement, um, and I can't and I can't fly up because I have no movement... Mm -hmm. Um, could I try to just roll over in my prone position, um, and stab this thing? I mean, you can stab where you are. Yeah. You just can't That's really true. move. Flip yeah, back. I'll just, you know what, I'll take my sword, uh, backhand, uh, and just stab it into the okay, ground cool. next to me. Disadvantage. Okay, cool. That means I don't get shit. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this level 20 rogue is now essentially a level 1 rogue. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's only a 17 to hit. That hits. You're hitting oh, that a, hits? You're, you're stabbing a big doughy thing that's the size of a room. That's fair. Um, uh, that's It's just a d8. Yep. Which is dumb. Dumb as hell. Um, Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I got I got shit. 
Um. Whenever I take the attack action, my walking speed increases by ten feet until the end of the turn. Cool, but because of the aberrant ground, you don't you don't have any movement speed. Ah, uh, it doesn't counter that. No. Nope. Damn. Um. Okay, then I'm going to spend a bardic inspiration for a defensive flourish. Mm -hmm. Um, to add a d6 to this, and also add that the number I roll to my AC. Sure. Um. So that is going to make it. I rolled a three. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes it five plus eight is 13 damage, plus three is 16 okay. piercing damage, and then my AC is now 22. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> uh, um, alrighty. Bonus action. <laughs> bonus action attack with uh, my <laughs> short sword of life stealing. Okay. Also, dis <laughs> also disadvantage. Also disadvantage. Okay, that rolled a lot better. Um, six plus eleven is that hits. Things. Uh, D six plus five. <laughs> uh, that's a five. So ten. Ten more piercing damage. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. End of your turn. It's going to do the cacophony of madness as a legendary action, and it's that the laughter is going to go towards. Hmm. Hmm. Grux just like, it just hears a. <laughs> uh, like, Avon, I think, because Gius is in concentration. But also, I don't care. Uh, yeah, Avon needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Plus eight. Twenty seven. They're fine. Alrighty. Cool. Coin. I just need a wisdom save. Ah, <clears throat> uh, so do I, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Oh, okay. Twenty-two minus one is twenty-one. Oh, it's a flat. Plus it's a, one. It's a, it's plus flat. one. It's a flat. You have your turn. <clears throat> oh! But you are restrained by this technical, so you can't. God move. damn it! <laughs> so you can't move. You, your attacks are at disadvantage, but you are you have a turn to do things. My attacks are flat because I always have advantage because there's always one ally within five Correct. feet of the enemy. Restrained, you, you are restrained, which is just uh, zero speed and disadvantage on deck saves. Other than that, you're fine. You Thank you so much for being so patient with all the rules, lawyer. You, We're all having to you, do. You, you snap out of this cacophony of noise, and you have your turn. Yes, just so much bubble gum. <laughs> it's like, it's like, getting. It's like, it's like. Uh, what's that movie? Not the stuff. The Blob. <laughs> the, stuff, the, stuff, the stuff is also a great movie. Go watch it. Is that that's the one with the ice cream, right? Okay. Well, not really ice cream. It's like this weird alien goo, and they just market it as ice cream, and they start eating it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did they steal a playbook from Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Steal a play from that uh, playbook? Uh, anyway, this movie might be older uh, than Killer Clowns. Love it. Um. Okay. So I I cannot move because I'm restrained. Correct. But you do have your turn. Both attacks. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. So. Oh, and yeah, there are like people's faces that this thing has like absorbed into it. So there are, like, people, like, pressing against you occasionally. So it's more like Slither. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like Slither, yeah. like the Blob, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're kind of an amalgamation. Right. This is good. This is good. Um, okay. Uh, Actually, as you're, like, oh. getting, as you're getting squeezed by this tendril, a face, like, pushes out against a tendril, like, right up against your face, kind of like this, and it's just like, Dongs! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> So many dongs! <laughs> yeah, this thing's probably full of dongs, actually. Yeah. Uh, um, remind me to tell you about a man named Dong sure. uh, during the break. Of course. Uh, all right, so... Uh, I know I have a thing. just need to know which... There we go. Boom. All right, so as this dong is hitting my face, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm going to say, uh, 
Smell you later. Boomp. <laughs> Bonus action, Misty. Style. Hell yeah, cool. Yeah. To get out of that restraint. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. Give me a second. Let me get that map. Sorry, I got a lot of shit pulled up. No, no, me no. too. <clears throat> You're from voice class. <laughs> Where are you? Where is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's over on the screen. Great. All right, friends. Okay, so boom. And I'm going to go to. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone else. Uh, I'm going to get within here. I'm going to do the best I can to get within. And Drux on deck. Right. 30 feet of. Ooh, I can get most of you. Okay, I think I might even be able to get Yvonne. Uh, so my that was my bonus action uh, to get uh, right here. So if I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm gonna go here. Cheat it as much as I can yep. to get within a thirty foot radius, which mm, we'll get everybody. Uh, we'll get I think except except for Flitz, yeah. I think, yep. and maybe Yvonne if we're gonna lawyer. But I, the goal is to get Hen Henrifex over uh, Yvonne if I have to choose. Okay, but. I'll leave it to your discretion, but I'm going to use my bonus action to get there. Yeah, Avon's out of it, so it's yeah. going to be Eclipse, Druck, and uh, Henry. Henry. Eclipse, Druck. Eclipse, Druck, and Henry Fex. Yep. And then uh, you you see, uh, so you see Coin jump away from the dongs. I'm so uh, swallowed, so you can't see me. Right oh right, you can't I, see Druck. Druck swallowed. Uh, okay. Sorry, I, I don't. I don't know if it's no, no, within no, 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 sight no. or anything. So let me. I let, I would... Can I finish? Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, creatures of your choice in a radius when in a in the radius, the thirty foot radius when you cast the spell. What's the spell? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to cast my um, one charge of holy aura. Okay. So this gives creatures. Yeah, uh, you're, not, you're not required to see them. So yeah, Druck can be affected by that inside right this on. thing. Yeah. So uh, it gives you advantage on all saving throws, and other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against them. So unfortunately, Yvonne and Flitz don't get this, but I had to get as many people, especially our damage dealers, up. Uh, so disadvantage on attack rolls against you, and any melee attack against these creatures there's a flash of brilliant light and they have to su they have to succeed on a constitution saving roll of 13 to not be blinded yeah. i know it's probably i know it's got all the eyes so it's probably it's got it's probably at least, 13 at least plus. blind <laughs> sense but if it rolls a, a 1 I'm really hoping we might do something but at any rate now you all have advantage on okay. saving throws for these for every turn because christ let's get some oh, turns in here yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and negative on attack rolls yep. or a disadvantage on attack rolls cool. so yeah just let's chew this bubble gum all right uh henry while all this is happening you're so you're still like you're you snap it out occasionally mm -hmm. with the gear spell you can feel like the people that are stuck in the mass are like trying to help push you out of it yeah and there you hear like little voices like from them underneath going we're here to help. Ugh. Uh, anything else, Coin? Action bonus uh, action. Action bonus action. Uh, yeah. I still have movement. Yeah, you do. Uh, I'm going to fly up to uh, just to 15. Sure, cool. All right. Just another five feet up. Alrighty. Druck. Which I'm sure I could teleport at. Uh, you still need to make a wisdom save while inside this thing. Oh, okay. Got advantage. All right. Advantage minus three. Mm, Eleven. Eleven. Roll, ah, a, roll a d8. Bless it. <gasps> Eight. Stab into this thing from inside. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> At disadvantage. Uh. But like, what are the what are the conditions that I currently have on me right now? You cool. said blinded, but I'm immune to blinded. Uh, is there any? Are there any others? Restrained. Restrained. Okay, so then disadvantage. Yep. 
All right, 18 to hit. Of course. For 14 damage, which is right. one under my max, so. Uh, you said 14? Cool. 14. Yeah, you just start stabbing. Just stab. Um, That's my turn. Yep. Yeah. Next person. Yeah, we're just reading something. Alrighty, cool. Did, since I'm swallowed, or is there any acid shit going on? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Not yet. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry about it, he says. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, lair action. Okay, so I can't do duplicates in a row. So, everybody outside, you watch as hardened pillars of this thing's flesh rise up from the ground in three spaces of my choosing. One's going to erupt under flits. One is going to <laughs> erupt under Henry, which is going to be really funny with Gius. Mm. And then another one's going to erupt under Eclipse. So I need the three prone people to make strength saving throws. At advantage because of Poliora? Correct. Uh, 19. 19. Alright. Noise. 15. Okay. okay. Strength save. Okay. I'm just trying to get you one turn, Sam. I appreciate it. I'm doing <laughs> the best out here. <laughs> Alright. What Henry get? 15. 15. You take 20 bludgeoning damage. Oof. And since the pillar okay. is rising up from out of the ground from under you, you're now 30 feet in the air, laying on a pillar of hardened flesh, no longer gooey, gibbering terrain, so you're not going to do the strength save. Wait, so... Okay. okay. So you're on top of a 30 foot high pillar of just hardened meat dough. <clears throat> gotcha, okay. And 20 bludgeoning damage, and because it went after you, because this thing's got like no intelligence, mm. uh, it's gonna take the 8d10 psychic, I believe, from... Hey, it's something. Yes. Which mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. 5d10 psychic. And that just lasts for 30 days. It's hmm. so. That's a good spell. It is. Uh... Yeah, if you can ever find the time... 22 psychic damage to it. It's looking hurt, if you can tell. Like, you're looking at it, it's hard to tell, but yeah. Alright, so... Uh, uh, Flitz, what'd you get? Five. 20 bludgeoning damage. And you're also hoisted 30 feet up into the air, but no longer stuck in the gum, so you won't have to make that strength save at the start of your turn. But uh, these last until they should count 20 on the next round. So they will go away. Uh, and then Eclipse, what'd you get for your strength save? Natural 19 plus zero. Okay, so you take 10 bludgeoning damage, and you can choose if you want to stay on the pillar or not uh, go up Is it again. magical bludgeoning damage? You take no damage. Great. But because you can't move, you're also just... Because <laughs> it knocks you prone, but since you're already prone, you're also 30 feet in the air. Gotcha. The pillar, but no damage because of lycanthropy. Which is fun. All right. So fun. Druk, as you're inside, yes. you do start to get digested. Okay. You take 22 acid damage. Okay, so it doesn't happen on my turn. It happens on... Yeah, that's how Swallowed affects Arbitrary it. thing? It starts on the creature's turn. Oh, okay. That's how Swallowed works. 22. 22 acid, acid damage, damage yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, on its turn, let's have some fun. Yeah. Uh, tendril attack on Yvonne. Two tendril attacks on Yvonne, I think. And then if it hits Yvonne and grapples Yvonne, then it'll replace the tendril attack with a swallow. 25 to hit. Cool. And then Henry, you're on deck right after this. Okay. 16 damage to Avon. They need to make a strength saving throw or be grappled and restrained. With advantage, I believe. Natural 20, so who cares? The other tendril is going to go flying towards Avon then. That misses. Or for 14 to hit? Does that. That has to miss. Yeah. 
Henry, all I need is a wisdom save. <clears throat> Let's. That's the important one. Let's see. Uh, with, advantage. with advantage. Oh. 18. 18. I should have rolled mine with advantage. Or did I? You did. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Henry. 18, you said. Mm hmm. Uh, that's, that just succeeds. Okay. So you have cool. your turn, but you are prone. Half movement to stand up. All right. Uh, Henry Flex is going to. Stand up, brush himself off. I'm right next to a wall, which is perfect. And you're 30 feet up in the air on this yep. fleshy pillar. Uh -huh. That is in the process of like getting soft again. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, um, Henry is going to... Uh, he, he's going to just like point a, point a finger at the wall in front of him. Yep. Uh, and he's going to cast Demiplane. Sure. And he's just going to... Open the door, leave it open, and then step through so he is no longer uh, in the... He's no longer in the gibbering mouther. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but as he steps... Uh, but then once he steps through, there is a very large humanoid shape standing inside the door. He's just going to tag in. Okay. Now let me see the rules for Demiplane here, because if I assume it's still... Uh, that you can still see out of it and hear out of it. Uh, yes. However, so, on the th on Buddy Boy's turn, I'm gonna have him shut the door after him. Okay. <laughs> so that, and then on and on Henry's turn, he's gonna then open the door so he can take a turn, but he won't be able to hear or see anything. He'll be on a different plane of existence during its turn. Okay. Where are you? So that guy's popping in. Uh, I think it's initiative four. Yeah, but he's popping in like right where you, where you are. Uh, thirty feet up, but that won't really matter. Yeah. Because technically he technically he's inside, so he'll have to step out yes. on his turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. so he's right there. Yeah. It'd be really funny if he gets he goes berserk though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's your turn then. Yep. Cool. Avon, strength saving throw, wisdom saving throw with advantage. Drux just inside here taking a bubble bath, guys. So. Uh, 17, Avon has no movement this turn. That's with advantage. And that is a 27. So they do get their turn, though. They just can't move. So. Seeing how bad things are going, they're just gonna cast Inflict Wounds at 7th level. Because they got spell slots to spare, so. Oh yeah, and they can probably hit. 4 plus 9 does hit, though. 13. Because again, this thing does not have a lot of AC. Oh, so its AC is 13? Awesome. No, it's less than that. 53 damage. Cool. That's the biggest hit of the night, I think, so... right? I don't remember. Uh, or did then, Coin do a thing that did? That's then, awesome. Yeah, that's their turn. Uh, that'll bring us to its legendary action, where it's going to throw a tendril at Henry, because Henry isn't through the demi plane yet. Or are you? He's actually he's gonna when he goes inside, he's gonna go in and then go like around, take a step to the side, so he's around the corner. So you're in the demi plane and out of sight. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, coin. Disadvantage though. Uh, to me. Twenty-two to hit with disadvantage. Twenty-two is my current uh okay. ac so that hits and then i gotta look at no it does not i use my wings okay. uh my magic uh my magic shield i have a the the cool Thank you uh, and because you succeed the... on your wisdom save last turn you do have your reaction so yes i do haha -ha. cool so it Sorry, does not hit it seems seems gloaty Sh -bing! okay so flitz start of your turn 20 27 for the next okay 
Flitz, like, you're 30 feet up in the air. I do not need a strength save because the floor you're on is currently some stiff meat. Uh, all uh, I need is... You have half movement, but I do need a wisdom save first. Wisdom save, all right. Because you're still prone. With a plus two. Cause I have one With up. advantage. Or no, you're out of that aura, never mind. Oh, I was like, no. Okay, not bad though. 18 plus two is dirty 20. You succeed, you have your turn. I'm laying on the ground. Flitz is bonus action. Going to... Well, you're 30 the... feet up in the air on this flesh pillar. Oh, okay, yeah. He'll do his elemental gift so he can fly. It. So he'll just... And he'll just kind of hover a bit. Okay. And he'll raise up to stand, essentially using half his movement, 15 yep. feet. Um, two hits immediate left right there. There's that. Is that visually a big-ass eyeball? Oh, yeah. Visually? Okay. Um, it's like a 30 foot by 30 foot eyeball. Perfect. Um, it's actually bigger than that, maybe. But yeah. Big old eyeball. Doesn't look like I can go anywhere. Um, he's going to fly 15 feet. Mm -hmm. A little closer. 5 and 15. Get a better view of that eyeball. And he is going to grab the spiky ball bearings that he found in Mythanus? My yeah. Minthanus? Minithus. Yeah. He's going to grab one of those um, and he's going to toss it into the air and he's going to say, hey, catch! And he's going to point at it and he's going to flick it and he's going to get a six level catapult. Fuck, okay. And that's a dex save? I'm sorry. Dex save? That is a dex save of 18. 11 minus 1 for a 10. Beautiful. So that is this thing can't exactly eight. move out of the way, right? So it's just kind of like... I'm prepared for this. You just fucking... Oh, that's a lot of 8s. Pew, 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 pew! 3... 3 8s. 2 1s. My brain. Uh, so what are we noticing about this rift this whole time? It's bigger than the last one. Forty-two. Yeah. Dang, this thing's looking real bad after that. God damn. Um, it's bonus action, action, and I think that's that's gonna be. Uh, that'll be it. Okay. End of your turn. It's gonna use a legendary action because it's got one left, and it's gonna go for a tendril attack against you. Oh no. Mhm. Mm with disadvantage though, because of, um... No, I wasn't in it. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh... Dirty 20. Uh, shield. Okay. The wind bear <laughs> comes up. Alright. That's gonna bring us to the clay golem. Yeah! The who? Henry's clay golem that he made last campaign. With the manual of clay golems that Ogden gave Henry. So, uh, yeah, yes. it's... It's going to tag in, basically. Uh, it's going to grab the door handle, shut the door to the demiplane behind it, mm -hmm. and it's just going to step off and then just drop 30 feet down. Okay. Takes no damage because it's... Immune to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage, non magical yeah. start animating. And then uh, it's going to use its haste ability. Sure. Um, and start off and is going to, uh, so the action is use the haste, or actually, yeah. no, never mind. It's just gonna, it's not gonna do that because that's not te terribly helpful right now. It's just gonna make two slam attacks. Go for it. So it lands and just, <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> oh, I hope it goes uh, berserk though, because that would be fun. Yeah. All right. First attack plus eight, 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. And second attack is a 21 to hit. Cool. Sorry, 22. Uh, so roll the damage and then give me the total damage for the. Actually, I gotta do this for the uh, hit point maximum reduction. So roll the first yeah. damage and I'll roll the con save to see if its hit point max is okay. reduced. Okay, that's oof. Uh, ten for the first one. Ten damage. Yeah. Okay, and a con save. Uh, eighteen plus three. Okay. 
Point and max the second is not one reduced. Yeah. Is eighteen damage. Okay. Fuck. This thing's looking real bad after this golem just falls out of the sky and just poof, poof. Uh con save is a eleven. Uh, okay, so its max hit points are reduced by that eighteen. Okay. So three hundred and twenty two. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Cool. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Perfect. Eclipse. Wisdom save. Add stre advantage. Strength, strength and wisdom, because you're still prone and stuck. But I'm on top of the pillar, right? Right. So you're just, you're just prone, then. Not so I just stuck. need to make a wisdom save. Correct. Great. That's cocked. That's cocked again. All right. Um, that's a you have advantage, 20... right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was trying to see if I rolled higher than a seventeen. Um, but seventeen plus six is okay. Twenty-three. So you have your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to start flying again. Okay. Um, as my movement, and I wanna five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm gonna fly over to this big main eye. Sure. Um, and attack at it, Go for trying it. to get it, trying to draw its attention to me. Go for it. Um, so first attack, uh, it's plus 14. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Natural one. Oh, that sucks. Miss. <laughs> um, you're going in timeout. A bonus action is a natural 18. Can you hit with the can you do your bonus action thing if you don't hit with your first attack? I'm not sure how that works. Um, I I think it's a um if you make an attack action, a weapon Let's attack. Let's just double check. Yeah, features and traits. Um, yeah, you can do that. Go ahead. Yeah. An 18 to hit. Yeah. Roll damage. And that's plus all eight of my sneak attack plus another d6. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. I'm just gonna roll. All the sneak attack and then the d6. Mm -hmm. Stop rolling over there. Okay. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 34, plus mm -hmm. another d6, 37, plus the weapon, 37, plus... Five is forty-two piercing damage. Well, how do you want to do this? <laughs> hey. uh, uh, I fly to the center, or just like to the edge of the iris. Mm -hmm. um, and then as I stab it, I just use the rest of my fly speed to carve around the cornea around okay. the iris. Uh, okay. And just cut out that flesh. From the sure. Of its eye. Cool. So we're still gonna be an initiative because the rift has to be closed still. Mm -hmm. However, I have a lot of notes I have to read. Where is it? Where is this stupid thing? Cool. So as this thing collectively draws its final breath from all the mouths all over its body, it begins to dissolve into a seething pool of bubbling goo. And at the center of the goo, laying down on his belly, is Druk, covered in melting mm. chewing gum-like material, akin to melting gum that's melt, uh, akin to like gum that's melting on the sidewalk in the summer, kind of like that. Uh, and amidst the cacophony of shrieks, yells, and groans that emanate from this creature, a unified fit phrase rings out: "He has arrived. The reunion is nigh." But in the end. Nothing remains of the Titan except for a thin coating of crimson slime that now slickens the floor of the chamber and the rift that is still open. Anything else, Eclipse? <clears throat> um, just turning to everyone else and shouting, What the hell does that mean? Um, and just looking out towards the rest of the field. Perfect. Coin. If y'all recall, closing a rift is an action to do a wisdom uh, we're going to say insight because that makes more sense because you're using your eyes to close them so it's an insight check to close the rifts but coin it's your turn the thing is dead melting away what 
this coin doing on his turn? I guess I'm gonna try and uh, close the rift. I guess. All right. So you focus your eye, guess. your singular eye, on this rift. Give me an insight check and add plus one for the number of eyes you have. Mm. All right. And if you recall, if you successfully close the rift, the person that does so does gain an eye automatically. Oh no. <laughs> so that's a uh, flirty twenty. <laughs> 20 is the DC. Oh no. So this this rift this eyes. rift is much bigger than the previous one. Yeah. So with that successful check. Oh no. Oh, I fucking I locked it to the map. I can't play with it. Can't play with it anymore, you guys. Mm -hmm. Uh visually it shrinks so a little. Dongs. Visually it shrinks a little bit. Ah, got you. So it, like you're repairing the tear in space that this thing made, so it shrinks with that one success. So that's your action to do that coin. I was just going to ask, is that my action? Yes. Perfect. Um, um, I'm going to make sure. Does it I'm get gonna... an eye, or is it only when you close it? Only when it's closed. Oh, okay. Only when, it's, uh, when, it's the, when you, you know, have the vinyl, final zipper on the tent. Um, yep. Sorry, I was looking for any kind of bonus healing I can give anyone, but I don't think I have any bonus action healings. All right, sorry, yep, yeah, that's it. All right, Druk, you are lying in the, essentially the culmination of this thing's essence, directly below the rift as it is slightly closed. Right, what's it smell like? Uh, it smells like, I don't know, old chewing gum that you find yeah. under a desk in school. Nice. All right. Like saliva. Uh, it smells like saliva. Yeah, I'm going to try and I'm going to get up. Mhm. Mm kind of stumble over and try to close this rift. Insight check plus the number of eyes you have. Okay. What do we have to touch the rift? Nope. What does it look like when we're when You're, we're it's just, do we just it's like mentally, getting up? It's mentally yeah, focused. We're getting on it. Okay, and so we we just need to be within five yeah. feet, or okay, five feet mentally focus. Okay, cool. So insight plus three. Uh, plus three. Yep. That's thirty-four. Cool. So it shrinks to almost pinprick size now. There's only one other person in the party that can contribute to closing this, and that is Flitz. Come on, Flitz. Not with a twenty, y'all. So uh, a negative two. So uh, any. Uh. Any uh, Ali. plus the number of eyes you have. Negative one. <laughs> uh, uh, could I? No, I can't. Yeah, it hasn't been around. Uh, anything? Any bonus action you want to do, Druk? Well, Nat twenty. Uh, what 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 do I have? I have a bonus action in movement. Just, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll. Oh, dang it! And he'll get closer to where it coalesced okay. to. Okay. And just try to get to the center of where right. that is. Uh, Henry, you're in your little demi plane. This thing's dead now. You can just see these people that you're partying with now, kind of getting closer to this rift, yeah, and they're like they're just like focusing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he actually, Henry opens the door, and then he sees that. Um, I guess uh, Henry is just gonna because we've heard that things can come through the rift. Yeah. Um, so Henry's just gonna, like, stand there 30 feet up in the doorway, and he's just gonna spend his action to ready an Eldritch Blast in case anything comes through. Sounds good. Cool. That'll bring us to Avon. What could they do? They're just gonna cast Hold Person on Flitz. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, they, got, they have to have something they can do that'll help here. Bless would be great. Do they have Bless? Nope. Okay. Uh, uh, they're gonna shout words of encouragement. <laughs> uh, at uh, who looks more insightful? Druk has more eyes, so they're gonna assume that Druk is insightful, and gonna give Druk, Druk the help action by shouting words of encouragement. Because. Awesome. I was going to give Bless to Flitz, but unfortunately. 
Flint, it's your turn. Um, you know, everybody's contributing. Flint doesn't know he can't close it, so um, he gonna try. Okay, so he'll, you fly he'll up to fly him. up. He'll fly up thirty feet, trying to get closer. How close that do I need 20? to be? You need within five feet. Unfortunately, nat twenties aren't automatic six feet successes on. Okay, so fly up thirty. Plus one, minus one. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, a no, nat I, have a, a nat I have a minus two. Plus has a minus two. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have a I'm negative sorry. one. Yeah, I can't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he'll he'll fly up and yeah. then he'll missy step to get as close as possible. Sure. Um, so you're right. You'd be right in front of it. And he'll look to Druck. I got this. And he'll reach his hand out. Insight check. And I just gotta roll <laughs> to see. <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> so a negative one. Okay. Uh, as you go to cl- <laughs> as, you, as you go to close it. You feel this piercing <laughs> sensation in your brain, like oh, yeah, the fuck, worst headache, damage. the worst headache you've ever had. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, you take some psychic damage. Oh no. It's like it's like the eyes are like trying to rip themselves out of your body. Like, don't do this, don't do this. You're not supposed to do this. Uh, Nineteen psychic damage. He collapsed dramatically onto the floor. Okay. Into the <laughs> goo. Play. Into the goo. Play. There's like a sure. like the layer of goo on the floor. Uh. He's gonna he's gonna play it up a little bit. Uh, is the clay golem <laughs> like doing really anything? Really took it out of him. How much? It was nineteen. Um, nineteen. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, it's just gonna stay. He's just Henry's just gonna t- tell it to stay where it is. Okay. So you guys look over and see a clay golem standing just still. Is it T posing for fun? Yes. Thank you. Default. T pose. Uh, cool. Eclipse, are you doing anything? Um, you know what? I am going to both action help flits and bonus action uh, bardic inspiration. Okay. Um. Whoever closes it, whoever closes the rift this last time gets an eyeball. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, Druck would be just be like. You'd be looking at Quentin being like, yeah. Um, I, I got this. Let me mark down one of those inspirations. Mm-hmm. Got one more left, y'all. Uh, for my inspiration. Oh, I had. I had it, and then I lost it as soon as I started saying other words. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, I'm gonna look to Flip and say, This portal mess is killing me, oh, and no. I, I must <laughs> confess, I still That's copyright! Right. Stop right there! When I'm not with you, I get the chills. Flip, you got bills to pay. Close that portal, Flip, you pay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, plus you have a D6 of Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah, there's not much else those with eyes, without eyes can do. So, coin. Your turn. Uh, you said, Gar- uh, Druk, you said uh, that you were like, no, I got this? Or, I mean, what else am I going to do but try, though? Right? Okay. If you... I mean, coin seems pretty like ugh, like didn't yeah. re- wasn't really up for it but Drux kind of resigned himself to just becoming no uh, and I'm a corrupted monster <laughs> I don't want that for I don't want those things for you I'll do my best so it's plus one wisdom insight yes please Roll a 19 mm. only a 12 okay so yeah you feel the same psychic stabbing pain in your head that uh, flitz felt and you take 22 psychic damage. And I am resistant to psychic So you take 11. Damage, so there's 11. Yeah, cause when you, so yeah, when you try to do it and you fail, you feel like the eyes uh, that you have gained, try, your eye trying to be like, hey, 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 don't do that. Hey, come on, man. Hey. Yeah, maybe We're buds. Do We're buds. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Any, it's like an... Any bonus actions or movement for you? Uh, no, I'll post up here. Cool. Druck. 
Yeah. I have advantage because of Yvonne. The help action. Correct? Yvonne shouting, you can do it. You got All right. a lot of it. Uh, Plus number of eyes? Yeah. Yeah. 29. 29. Cool. The rift closes. And Druk, what's the first part of your body that you think of as it closes? Stomach. A large eye opens up on your stomach. Uh, yeah. And then Sam. I'm saying Sam mm -hmm. specifically. Sam, Garrett, and Brittany need to roll me D20s. Just oh. D20s. Don't worry about anything else. Okay. Who did you say? Garrett, Sam, Brittany. But Brittany's not here, so it's me doing it. Who? Wow. Or er, wait, sorry, not you, Garrett. Okay. Ignore me. Uh, who is it? Kate, Sam, Brittany. D twenties. Okay. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm gonna need a different die for this. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Thank you. Uh, cool. Sixteen. 16, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh, okay. 16. Oh, yeah, that's a good one to get. Ricky, you got a... Or Sam. Fuck. What'd Sam get? What'd you get for your D20 roll? Two. Two. Oh, no. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, the rift closes, and Druk, you feel another eye grow on your stomach. And that's where we're going to go to break. Cool. All right. So we'll see you all back here in 10 minutes or so. Yeah.
Yes, the gibbering titan has been slain. You're all standing amongst its goo. The rift has been enclosed. And, Druk, you feel this <laughs> tugging sensation on your belly. And if you if you finger around and check, where your navel yeah. was mm -hmm. is an eye. Right where the belly button is, there's an eye. Just <laughs> Oh. And, yeah, Henry, you're still up in the ceiling, or up in the wall, in your... Ooh little protective demiplane. You all see this clay golem just standing still. Oh, that's Daddy, gross. I, tried. I really tried. Oh, uh, are you alright? Yeah, just... Yeah, is everyone okay? Anyone hurt? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah? Alright. I mean, um, I'm gonna spot. start... Dealing out uh, second level healing words. Oh, I can take care of it. Don't worry about it. Oh, you've got it? Great. Oh, I've got something better. <laughs> they try to say as nicely as possible. Because uh, that was me trying to say it as nicely as possible and it came out not so nice. Um, I would, you know, not, I didn't think it sounded that bad. They're going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Oh. Just. <laughs> That's nice. And yeah, they're the people are looking rough. They're gonna do an eighth level mass cure wounds. Nice. So everybody heals twenty four hit points. Nice. Uh, um. Everybody that was heals. uh, that was uh, really nice. Uh, if we run into any trouble, let me know. Okay, if we need more healing, I uh, also yeah. can help with of healing. Of course. Um, does Henry rejoin the group? Yes. He'll, he'll hop down. Yeah. Druk. Ugh. You see Henry, but it's not. You see what is beneath Henry's skin. Uh, you see hmm. this twisting form of a chain devil just kind of writhing beneath Henry's skin. Yeah, Because you see Druk past... You see the true form of a creature, so you're yeah. seeing. Druk pulls out his crossbow and kind of his fingers off the trigger, and you would probably notice that, but he's just pointing it at Henrifex. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, you're different. What happened? Nothing. I feel quite the same. You've got to. Uh... You look different. Don't know what to tell you. What's with, uh... And he'll kind of start describing, like, stuff that other people don't see, but maybe? No, no. Henrifex yeah. is aware of? <clears throat> I don't know. Henrifex probably is because, uh, yeah. one of, like, it's himself, but also, uh, one of his, um,. Uh, what's it called? One of one of his his invocations is Witch Sight, which allows him to see, uh, which basically gives him part that part of True Sight. Yeah. So yeah, you're aware of what he's describing. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, so you can see us. Yeah. Fascinating. Oh. Well, that's just our is natural this... good looks. Okay, so is this something you're hiding, or is it? Purpose? No, we What's don't. It? We just usually can't bring it out. Hmm. Looks really bad. Although, look at me. Who am I to say anything? Yeah, <laughs> it's got like this fucking eyes everywhere, <laughs> double eyes, eye on his tongue, eye on his back. Mm -hmm. um, as this is happening uh, Yvonne is going to approach Flitz and just like look at Flitz who's kind of just you know doing Flitz stuff <laughs> blissfully unaware of what's happening are you alright? Yeah. oh yeah, yes I was just um, looking around they're going to place a hand, their hands on the sides of your face and you feel this like grit on the inside of their hand, kind of like it's dust. And they kind of focus for a second. 
And they go, right. oh, that makes so much sense. And she's just going to playfully pat your cheek and cast Greater Restoration. And your wisdom score is fixed. It's, you can take away the negative three you had to it. <clears throat> Yay, I have a kid. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I'll blink a few times. Do you feel better? Yes. I, I forgot where I... Why that happened. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Nods and... So now what? Let's get out of here first. This place is creepy, and the uh, ghosts. Uh, we should leave. Oh, Find it's... someplace safe to rest. We could try to head back to the tower, but how are we getting back to you know, Tower Central? I don't know. That one didn't seem too lucky or too or too welcoming. Um, perhaps. I mean. People in this town seem to care enough to put up warning signs around the gate. Perhaps there's some place in town that we could rest. Well, where is the nearest town? Oh, but wasn't this manor in, it's just, it's just like, on the it's, edge of town? No, I didn't. No, just, I just, just described it being on a hill. There was no towns nearby. Oh, well, just roads. Know, just roads stretching in directions. Yeah, never mind. Maybe we can talk to the man in the tower. Maybe he's a powerful arcane practitioner like um Kinna Kinna is and can like I don't know I would prefer if uh if they were just a regular person <laughs> yeah, if I'm being honest I think we'd all prefer that but we can't have nice things in this day and age <laughs> yes yeah. Is there any way that we can get back to somewhere safe that's not in this place? Do any of you have teleportation magic or things we can teleport with? Um, we're not at long range. We're currently on like this continent that I'm not too familiar with. I have a sort of wild idea. Yeah, what, what's it? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How how do you all feel about dragons? Dragons are cool. Cool. How do you do you feel comfortable riding one? Yeah. Sounds like fun. I've ridden worse things. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, a good friend of mine is actually a dragon. Hey, okay. we rode a dragon, but it was coin dragon. The, the, ooh, you hit the nail on the head. What? Wait, you can turn into a dragon. No! Uh, friend, we left them at the, at the well. Who? Your oh. friend, the... Dragonelle? Lenny? Lonnie? L Lonnie. Lenny. 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 Oh, I, I know... Uh, so... Uh, you guys hear... Oh, well, that's not very fast now, is it? Oh, no, that could be fine. You're also on another continent. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how... Let's maybe establish where we are, and then I'll I'll let you guys know. So, when you guys... I have, when you guys were... I have an idea. Oh, okay, great. So, you can... You can throw things into your chest, right? And we can get that shifted to back to a nundio, right? To a person? If we have their name specifically to deliver, we can do one thing per person per day. Um, what if? Is it limited to, like, one of us? Or, like, can we get someone else to do it for us? Any sen sentient person. He's gonna pull out the bottle. What if? I would say, though, that if there is any sort of magic dimension things, what will happen if they cross 
if they break the plane and go into the chest, I'm pretty sure now... I'm pretty sure that'll do some pretty bad things. I was told not to have a bag of holding near it. I not can put this to... in a bag of holding. Right. Uh, mm. I can. Your bottle's considered an extra dimensional space. Yeah, but it's not limited by the ramifications of bag of holdings or portable holes. I do not trust that it's the same with this chest. I think I think I think actually in the I think it specifically cites bags of holding. Sorry, uh, I, it's sorry to go very meta on this. Place, but, like, placing Goad's Infinity Chest inside an extra dimensional space created by a bag of holding, handy haversack, or portable hole, or similar item instantly destroys the item, the chest, or instantly destroys the item that the chest was placed inside. And the chest spews out all of its contents into a random plane of the DM's choosing. The chest then transforms into a mimic and attacks. That's if the chest is placed the chest. inside something. This is putting us, our bottle, in the chest to be transferred. Yeah, it's up to yeah the DM or I don't know. I'll be honest. Yeah, I, 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 did, uh, listen, I I worded it where seems... the chest is placed in something. I I think considering the situation. This, uh, while one situation, one person or the other might be correct, it is too risky for our current predicament. Uh, I think we should wait for much more dire, uh, instances to risk that maneuver. Um. Question. Mm -hmm. I've known news for a long time. Mm -hmm. Would I be familiar with some of the spells that clerics have access to? You haven't hung out with them in a very long time. Like 36 years long, probably. Not the, you wouldn't know anything above... Yeah, you probably above, don't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know anything above 5th uh, level, I don't think. Uh, the last time you guys uh, were, were fighting... At 16th level. Last time we were 16th yeah. level. Okay, so maybe seven. I think that's six level seven that's level spells. Seven. Seven that's... level spells? Okay. Uh so uh, I would know that clerics maybe have the ability or have access to plane shift. You also you also they don't. You also don't know <laughs> what, what they don't I mean they do, but, but you also it's different. Also I'm I said that that's, communicating between the two which communicating between the two groups right now is gonna be complicated because you don't know what they're up to and I So don't... my thought was to uh bring up the idea of maybe we plane shift to another plane and then plane shift back to where we want to be. How are you going to plane shift, though? Oh, yeah. You need the materials. So, like, plane That's shift true. is and a lot more difficult because you need, like, the tuning fork specific to the yeah. planes, yeah. and it's all plane really shift. Okay. Plane shift requires gotcha. a lot of components. Yeah. yeah. It's something that you have to really stack up and yeah. plan for beforehand. Just trying to throw out ideas. No, it's, like, that's a great one. But, yeah, mm -hmm. there's just a lot of complexity. Um, and everyone has a magical staff connected to the weave where you don't need material components and can't plane shift on a whim. <laughs> all right. It's so, funny because all the people who can teleport and plane shift are in the same party. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> all right. So we are. Uh... If you don't mind, I'm. I'll be back to you in a second. I'm going to. Actually, Drake, okay, if you want to come with me, maybe you could help. I'm going to fly up and get our bearings and see where the edge of this uh, see what we can see I Here's think what? getting a survey of the environment is good I do think we're going to have to head back to that tower and fight if we need to to get back to use the teleportations there uh, but I think it would be good to get eyes on uh, just to see because it seemed like something was about to happen when we arrived you guys definitely know the house is gone because it vanished when you when if it, well, yeah, it vanished, so there's no house left. <clears throat> so if you go 30 uh, feet up, it's just going to be you're on the property, the yard. Was... So open air? Yeah. Oh, go... looking straight up, it's the sky? Yeah. The, my goal was to go up 120 feet. Okay, so, you've, yeah. so you're flying up 120 see. feet? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, Drugs, fly, Drugs following, you yeah. fly up 120 feet. The hedge maze is withered and dead. Nothing in it anymore. Uh, the well, gone. And the house itself is gone, and you just see this dead forest, um, this like decrepit, withered, dead forest of dead trees for miles and miles. Uh, you don't see any nearby settlements, but you see the roads that stretch in various directions, and then like a mile away, you see that tower. 
I, I, Druk, I say that we go to that tower. I think we were all saying it. I, but I agree. And if you know, as they say, uh, shit turns sideways. I, we let us. Um, well, I, there's we have redundancies. We have mm -hmm. you know just in case scenarios. All right. Now that we have like a moment alone, just the two of us up in the sky here. Yeah, you got uh, a belly eye now, my dude. The two of us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's part of the course. I I don't know how much of me is left. Is it a spell? Do you think it's a spell? What the eyes? Yeah. I. You know. You'd think that perhaps I would learn a little bit more about the book magics and just uh, all of the magics in general, like, without party, but I really couldn't tell you if it was a spell or... I mean, it feels like it's a part of me now. Is there a way to know without directly asking you meta-wise if it's a spell or not? Because there's an uh... ability that I have... Detect magic might be able to do it. Identify balls. <laughs> I'm just a ding dang dummy. <laughs> but what, what do you think of uh, these people we're traveling with? We kind of just left fl flits with them, so I mean, we obviously trust them enough. To... They're all just murdering flits down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our time has come. <laughs> Wait, Carnifex was a new body for you to play in. <laughs> Just a sacrifice. So, um. Yeah. No, I, I, I think I think they are good, as far as I know. Uh, Yvonne, though very, you know, um, liberal with uh, the line. This is a very thin line. It seems that they play with for both pain and pleasure, but it, uh, you know, hey, it's that's their light. jam. That is their jam. Yeah, uh, this is having fun. And so it just I, seems I, like I, to I, me. I've known someone kind of like that, and they're, they're, they're good. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, and, uh, 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 you know, Eclipse seems cool, and Henrifex, I mean, a real, uh, a real now you see him now you don't sort of I mean I guess boy that has got to be a weird battle every day that rages inside but you know pretty good representation of the duality that all of us can have yeah I mean normally I would think of that as like a liability um yeah, but it doesn't and seem like... It seems like a... No, that's what I'm saying. Normally, in this case, yeah. it's quite different. It seems like a pretty consistent dialogue within oneself. Like, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, there seems to be symbiosis. Mm. Eclipse, they are... Uh, I've heard a word. I, I think it might apply incorrigible. I mean, I wouldn't have uh, such nice words, but they are very kind to people. Uh, they they kind of jump in, though. I mean, that seems to be their thing, but... Risky. Though, in this last battle, they not a scratch on them, so... I imagine there's something to that. Yeah. All weird bunch of new people, but uh, I miss I miss the others. Oh yeah, no, that is that is true. I, you know, I I hope they are doing well, and I honestly I feel a slight amount of guilt that we are not there to help them. But you know. Hmm. Let let Bahamut's will be done. 
Uh, well, yes. look to where you were up here in the area. You do see the candlelight that you saw in that tower when it got snuffed and the guy went back down to greet you all. That light on the candle, the tower, is back on. Like, it turn, it comes back on as you're up here in the air. Like, the candle has been relit. Just And the tower's like a mile away, so who knows what's going on there. Did you see that? Yeah, let us uh, get down there and let us uh, get everyone... Let's get... Uh... Let's get everyone to go with us. Yes, let's find out what that lighting mm -hmm. of that candle means. Uh, well, the two of them were up in the air for like that couple minutes or whatever. What's everybody doing in the uh, downstairs? Uh, I want to go over and talk to Henrifex. Sure. Uh, hey, Henrifex, you yeah. don't by any chance, you know, have the ability to send messages to anyone we know? Might be able uh, no, to get us out of here. No. I can't say I do. No. I, I can't say I do. No. Yeah. You think if I send Sigmund a message, he might be able to get us out of here? Like through the chest that they have. That's potentially yes. For fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while they're up there, I'm gonna start writing a letter to Sigmund. Um, okay. Uh, and it's basically just gonna say... Wait, you're writing uh, a letter, or are you casting sending? I don't have sending, so I was gonna write out a letter and send it to Sigmund through Goad's chest. Okay. Because Henry also has a chest. Uh, no, Ogden does. No, Ogden has it? Then I'm gonna ask Coin to send okay. it when they come back. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay. Uh, and it's basically gonna say, it's like, Hey, it's Eclipse, how have you been? Uh, been thinking about you and your shop. Have you rebuilt yet? In other it's been news, thirty-six what? years. <laughs> uh, hope you have a Memorial Day sale coming up soon. <sighs> Love to see it again. Anyway, we're stuck in Basgrave at Bent Hill Manor. Do you think you could give us a lift uh, to uh, anywhere else? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Love Eclipse. All right. So you're writing that letter, Flitz. What are you doing? Um, Flitz is sitting on the ground, crisscross applesauce. Okay. He, he has the spell book open, and he has some uh, twigs, and he's like sticking them up. And he's making like a like a stick figurine of a horse. He's gonna ritually cast Phantom Steed just out of boredom. Okay. What's so your for ten minutes? He'll be doing that. Okay. Uh, and then Henry Fix and the Clay Golem. Clay Golem's still just standing there, unmoving uh, yeah. from when it came out of the demi plane, just. Yeah, I suppose Henry would normally just put it back in the demi plane, but now the demi plane's like thirty yeah. feet up. That's going to be difficult. Um, actually, uh, no, actually, uh, Henrifex can just Henrifex can just cast fly on the on the clay golem, <laughs> okay, and then have it just fly up okay. to the yep, yeah, fly up to the door. And just just lift up in there and just flies back in because the golems can't talk. But just flies yeah. in. All right, just go back home. Go back home. I want to imagine the clay golem has set up like its own furniture that's like clay golem side, so that it can well, relax until it's it called again. It probably just stands still because they yeah. have to be given commands I, to do stuff. Honestly, that uh, the thinking about it because I, I talked to you, Henry. One of Henry's demi planes is just a fully decorated yeah. and like furnished apartment. Yeah, uh, he might keep the clay golem in, in that, one? that one. Okay, cool. So that like it also doubles as a bodyguard because okay, like, so it just stands I, in the corner. Yeah. Uh, because I discovered that uh, through the spell Demiplane, if you're familiar with someone else's Demiplane, you can, you can and you cast Demiplane, yeah. you can go to theirs. Yeah. Um, so, like... Okay. Yeah, so he's just like, just yeah, in case someone fun. decides to it's come fun. and try to kill me in my sleep. It's really I got fun. A clay it's really fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so he flies up there. Does he have a name? No. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> flies up there and goes, just doesn't look back, doesn't wave or anything, just climbs in through the Demiplane. T-posing the whole way while it flies. Yeah, always when he doesn't move, it's always T-posing. <laughs> uh, but on the way back, oh, oh sorry. yeah, on the way back down as they're flying down, uh, Quinn, I know that um, it sounds a little dire and maybe a bit morbid, but perhaps our next, the next place we go to should be uh, Ferentis. Uh, it's called uh, Bahamut's End. For the context, since people were uh, dipping off uh, at the end of the, by, during the break, uh, 
on the shared quest journal document you guys have, I posted where each of these rifts are located. Because with the information you were told. And Bahamut's End is the one on Filmentis. I know that uh, it might, you might not want to explore that, but it seems... Oh, no, I absolutely want to prove that there is no end to Bahamut and that mm. his uh, reign is glorious and eternal. Excellent. So... We'll rename the place when we're done. Oh, yeah, no, it, it'll be... It maybe we'll ch put a B on it and we'll call it Bahamut's Bend. Like, it'll be, like, nice. you know, sort of a cool oh, yeah. like, rebranding. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just a lot of things. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't take long for you guys to get down. Oh, yeah. um, so yeah. quick. So and at this we're, point, we're, we're, we're kind of casual. Yeah, okay. And uh, <laughs> at this point, Flitz, as they get into here, your Phantom Steed is summoned. Wow. What's your Phantom Steed? Um, oh, wait, yeah, Phantom Steed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's it look like? Um, it's quasi horse like. To be honest, to be honest, it probably just looks like a large mini pony. Okay. Because I imagine <laughs> Fritz's family. Sure. And in the Holly Shires probably use like smaller horses because big ass horses yeah, yeah, yeah. are crazy to control. So, so yeah, Holly Shire uses a mixture a of like. Pony, yeah. Large, and big end. Holly Shire um, uses a mixture of mini ponies, mountain goats, and uh, mini oxen. So, so is that like. So is that like a mini pony, but it's like scaled in all dimensions? Yeah, it's, so like it's you just, just like take it oh. and expand it out. So the <laughs> legs are still stumpy looking. Um, Same proportions. Ah, they cool. climb on top of it. All right. Yeah, that's but everyone's down here now. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, Eclipse. By this time, you, you would definitely finish writing your little letter. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Mister Coin. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, may I borrow your chest for a minute? What a lovely weather we got going on here. That's only the voice flits here, because it is does use the of a riding horse. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Yeah. Yes, you need to... Uh, please. Uh, uh, yes, I, I wrote a letter for a friend. It's really human. Oh, perfect. Uh, just... Uh, say deliver and their name and if they are on this plane it would be delivered to them uh excellent all right deliver to sigmund and i drop it in okay <laughs> interesting okay <laughs> give me a wisdom saving throw Wisdom save? Minus 10. Sigmund! Did he give him any fucking information? He needs to find out where you are. Oh, because he's <clears throat> scrying. But you don't really, you don't know someone's scrying on you, so. But like, meta. Yeah, you don't realize he's <laughs> But I'm metagaming. But I'm metagaming. <laughs> that was me saying it, not I, Eclipse. I know, but just this fun. That's... <clears throat> It's a natural 20, minus 10, plus 6. Okay. So... The 16? Yeah. Oh, wait, it'd be minus... Uh, yeah, fuck it, minus 10. You don't know why. Um, yeah. Because that requires possession of somebody. Mm -hmm. Of theirs. Alright, as you're all getting ready in this basement of this tower, you just hear a... Like a teleport spell go off. And this human man walks out wearing these fine like colored like aqua blue garments and a very large like turquoise top hat just walks out Run. totally not impressed just how have you been friend it's been a while i've been wonderful how are you could be better could be in a better spot if you know what i mean sees henry and just takes off the top hat and Hello. Looks sad. Doesn't recognize anybody else. Uh, these are some new acquaintances of ours. Um, this is Coin Harting, Druck, Flitz, Flitz's Pony, uh, Coins, uh, Drake, Lenny, and Devon. I, I believe he is back at the big tower. Sorry to correct you, Eclipse. Um, and Druck, when you look at this guy, you don't see human man, you see, uh, 
dragon underneath, gold dragon, because he is a gold dragon. Which we yeah, did, which we learned last campaign, but yeah. All mm -hmm. of Druk's eyes are wide open. So how may I assist you, Eclipse? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am Sigmund. Uh. I am a clothing maker on the continent of Ipshire. Renowned clothing maker, the best clothing maker they've ever seen. He actually made this coat for me. Oh, it's one of my worst designs. I've gotten much better. Slowly. It oh. means something. So why are you here on this shithole? Uh, well, actually, they know a lot more about it than we do. Uh, this is a new issue for us. They are a lot more involved. I'm gonna point to point Druck and Flitz. Go ahead. Why am I here? Oh, uh, what? Uh, was hoping to. I don't know what you're capable of. I don't. You. Hmm. <clears throat> We're looking to get to Ferentis. Uh, place called Bahamut's End. Mount Why Orange. would you want to go to the Ashen Wastes? Oh, is that what they are? Well, it's a wasteland. There's no one there. No one lives there anymore. Uh, well, the whole reason is because supposedly that's where one of these other rifts are. What rifts? rifts? That's only. You see all this on me. Unfortunately. Yes. Uh, we're getting these eyes because of uh. In affliction with this plane, there is a sickness, uh, and <laughs> the only cure is for Yeah, um, and the only way we can stop it is by closing these rifts. And supposedly, there's a rift there. He looks at Henry. For, and Eclipse for like and his eyes kind of go like they're like the expression of are they for real like what the fuck is this shit yeah does, does Cathosis ring a bell oh I haven't heard that name in a while yes and Druck will just gesture to all of him hmm. <laughs> interesting okay Bahamut's end. Is that where you're all ag have agreed on going? I feel like. Good. Are you well supplied? Do you need supplies? I mean, I, mean I, I do not think it would hurt to check in with the guardian of this area before we scoot scoot on out of here. All right, I will. If you'd like to accompany us, he seems like a very interesting fellow. Why not? Lead the way. All right. It's this way. And Druck will start going. All right. He just follows you up the steps. He's going to he's going to like stay back and talk to Henry and Eclipse only. Where did you find these ones? What? Well, so you see, there was a po one of these portals opened up on Cala de Cuevos. Right? It, op it opened up on Cold Claw Isle. On, it opened up on uh, Cold Claw, um, and uh, try as me we might, um, we couldn't close it. Then we uh, got a message from what's what's their name? Ilya um, Oh. We got a message from Ilyaris, and they brought us, or rather Ogden brought us to, um, these people who apparently had already closed one rift. Right. It's very unfortunate Ogden isn't with you. I have made him a new hat. I thought it would suit him. And I made one for Icarus as well, but, alas. Uh, you could always send them to them if you want to. Oh! Sorry, I was eavesdropping, but you it's talked fine. about hats. He you just say deliver. He recognize. It seems like he, looking at him, he recognizes what the chest is because he's seen them before. He's seen the nice. one that they have. Oh, perfect! 
and he pulls out this little top hat, <clears throat> like a very tiny top hat size for an owl. Mm. Oh, I can only do one of these at a time. I think he'd appreciate I'll this more. I'll do the other more. one. Just... Oh, yeah, they all know Ogden. Apparently he's their patron. Right. So, opens the chest, puts the tiny top hat in. Deliver! Ogden Boone. <laughs> um, and at 1 p.m., uh, next session, <laughs> I'm just gonna get a random hat. It could be in the middle of battle. It yeah. could be. <laughs> we'll find or, out. It'll be three tomorrow when Ogden gets the hat, or three today. So next session, it could yeah, it could be during a battle where Ogden just randomly a hat disappears in front of him. <laughs> oh, this is uh, lovely, but uh, not the time or place. <laughs> uh, there's a little note on it that says for Icarus. Uh, and then he hands flits the other hat. Uh, it's a, it's a hat that's like it's one of those like bearskin hats that has the flaps down that come down on the side, that cover the ears, and it says for Ogden Boone, if you're somewhere cold. Uh, this hat has heating inside. It's actually the warmest hat in existence, and he hands it to Flitz. If you damage it, I will eat you. Do it too. I don't know what that means. All right. Not an idle threat. Ogden Boone deliver. Did I say that right? Ogden is gonna get two hats. <laughs> <laughs> Mid battle. <laughs> All right, lead the way. Continue mm -hmm. forward. Oh. Uh, come look at this, Quinn Flitz. Check this out. Ooh, what? Waits for them to approach. I will angle the pony between the other group and yeah. us. And he'll he'll get just a little bit of distance, enough for whispering. <clears throat> this new one is a uh, dragon gold. <laughs> But he is Sigmund. I am Sigmund. Mm. I, I don't want. I don't want to risk saying more. Just letting you know. Thank you. Okay. You seem serious about this. Uh, and hear, that's all Jekyll saying. You can hear Sigmund in the back. So this cool, place right? Sucks. This place mm -hmm. sucks. It's cold. So cool. This place should have stayed in the shadow fell. I definitely want to make a note that Sigmund was invited to Eclipse's fourth wedding. He probably didn't show up. <laughs> um, too, he's too busy. Yeah. He probably sent in your clothes for the wedding, but he yeah. show up. Yeah. Um, but Sigmund, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the dresses for the wedding. We really appreciated it, even if you couldn't be there in person. We'd be better if you paid me for them. Uh, if you would like, I can uh, come up with a commission price. It's fine. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I've got plenty back at the Grove. Hmm. The horde is getting a little sparse. That might be nice, actually. Alright, I will make a note to send you 20,000 gold. Perfect. Did they sing that loud enough for everyone else to hear? Probably. It costs more than that, but that's fine. It's a friend discount. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. He's you, as you like start to walk through the forest. He's like looking around, and Henry, he's you can tell he's seeing the same things you saw. And Druck, you're now mm -hmm. seeing those things too, that were like around the trees, like <sighs> blowing up the fog. But they're oddly familiar because I could feel... Yeah, but now you can see them and they're just like completely yeah. pale and blank. And you can, and yeah, Henry, you can also tell that Sigmund is seeing them for the first time. He's like, oh, that's lovely. Isn't it just? Oh, wonderful. Ha ha. This is much better than 
the last time I was with you all, devils and such. What do we have against devils, Sigmund? Well, bad, the other devils, the devils that aren't you, Conifex, you know you're my favorite. Of course I do. Of course, of course we do. <laughs> huh, and then yeah, after like an hour, so that's bringing us to four o'clock, you get to uh, the... Oh. oh. I was going to lean over to Conifex and say, I'm so glad he showed up, I was this close to calling Ashen. <laughs> I don't know that he would answer. I doubted it, but it was worth a try. That'd be fun. I suppose that's true. <laughs> uh, you eventually like, get to the base of this tower. The candle has been relit at the very top. And the bars are off the door. And the guy is outside, tending to a garden. Do you need help? Uh, oh, hello, your friends. Uh, how did it... I sensed the, uh, the ley line that I watch over here sort of repair itself, so... I came outside. The creatures in the forest are still to be, you know, taken seriously, but I can handle them. Uh, do you still have means of resting your... Like, it, I imagine there's still a gate between us? And then that he's... Yeah, he's talking through the gate. Yeah. Uh, Would you allow us a tree for rest? I only have uh, one bed for myself. We, I don't I really have guests. One bed. Uh, we just need shelter. I can provide shelter. I am Sigmund, of course. And then the guy who's just like... This you, is Sigmund. Are you here? Are you at least here to pick up your friend, pet? They've been helping me. They've been testing uh, the fruit and vegetables that I'm growing, and he's loving them. Is this... And you can see Coin here. You can see your dragon owl just eating just fruits and vegetables. Uh, <laughs> they sort of saw them outside randomly. Uh, and I didn't want them to get killed by the monsters that lurk in the forest, so... You don't want to run in against those things. The, but, yeah, then then he's going to run over and give the, this guy a huge lick. Oh! Thank you. Um, for a second, he said coin does, and I'm like, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, sorry, not coin. No, uh, no, 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 Lenny. Lenny. Thank, thank you so like much. Uh... I'll have to contact Ilyaris and let him know that this one is been fixed. But it sounds like you have accommodations already, so... And you see Sigmund is currently in the process of pulling, like, a key out of his pocket that's glowing, and he's starting to, like... He's got, like, a key ring full of glowing keys, and he's like, No, it's not that one! Or was it? And the other guy's <laughs> like, Well, uh, best of luck with your endeavors. Uh... just smiles is there anything else we need to do here before we leave like any type of repair I know that we use the tower you teleported outside of my tower you don't you didn't teleport yes. inside so everything's fine but oh okay you good all right so everything's good we're done uh I don't know that are you done problem. are you done with what you came to do I mean, we close the portal. Perfect. All right. Okay. Well, I would like to rest. I'd like a meal, and I'd like to relax. I am hurting still. Uh, how how can we go about doing this? You can still see Sigmund like fishing through the key ring of these glowing keys. Like, oh, I found the one. He sticks it in the air and just turns, it and you hear a lock unlock, and a shimmering doorway appears. He's like. All right, everyone inside, and he steps through. Interesting. One last question. Yes. What's what is the light all about uh, on your tower? I use it for reading. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's why it turned on recently. Yes, I was reading a, reading a romance novel. Oh. Uh, do I believe him? You can certainly try. Twenty-five. Yep. All right. Cool. Um. Whenever you talk to, what's his name again? Ilyaros. Yes. When you say that, 
There was a warning spoken when the portal was closed. Oh, that's good to know, actually. Right. He has arrived. The end is nigh. Okay. Alright. Does that mean we made a good choice by going to Bahamut's end? Do you think that's the... Do you think that means anything? You can, as, as you say that, Fletcher, you can see this guy wave his hand and more locks and mechanisms appear on the gate. Just, just precautions. Don't want anyone coming in, so. They say. We're following right behind Sigmund then, by And then you can see this guy turn, pivot, walk into his tower, close the door. More locks. <laughs> I think I scared him. So yeah, Sigmund, yeah, conjures his doorway with his key ring and then steps through. And then Druck follows. I think that warning meant something. Who's he? Are those his? Fliss is going to just be talking to himself as he opens a little his little pocketbook and it's like... Okay. Him's writing. So, as you all you all follow in through the shimmering doorway. Okay. Yes. You watch as it closes behind you as you all go in. And you're standing in the foyer of a mansion. Sigmund's magnificent. Just this man. massive, like opulent mansion. Everything's made of solid gold. Floors, walls, ceilings, every bit of furniture is made of gold. He's like, Welcome to my home. Well, one of them. Uh, uh thank you for your hospitality, Sigmund. We really appreciate it. Of course. Uh, uh guest bedrooms are on the thirteenth floor. Uh Here's the fun thing. Everyone, close your eyes. And pretend you're a little sparrow taking flight. Or, no. What was it? Was it a sparrow? No, it was a canary. Close your eyes and imagine you're a canary. <laughs> he looks at everyone to make sure their eyes are closed. And as you all picture it, you feel this weird, like, twisting sensation. And as you guys all open your eyes, everyone is a canary. <laughs> Simply fly up to the 13th floor, you'll find bedrooms. They are shaped like bird houses. Nice. You can speak in these forms, it's just an illusion. Oh, oh, oh I see. I see, see all these little. So all the canaries kind of look like you do, but canary appearance. So Henry, huh. you see a you see a canary with like a ponytail, uh, and wearing like what Henry's wearing. Druck is a very hairy canary. <laughs> uh, Flitz is a like a tur wings instead of bird Flitz wings. is like a sky blue colored canary. Oh, Eclipse is basically a canary with cat ears and fur. Cat canary hmm. and a and still one eye patch. Yep, and then Coin <laughs> is a canary wearing. Yeah, a, a weird kobold canary hybrid. So an original bird. How prehistoric birds were. Basically, coin is a dinosaur. I was going to say, it probably looks like one of those uh, familiars, those dragon familiar pseudo things. Pseudo yeah, pseudo dragon. Um, well, yes. With a, pseudo, with a pseudo dragon right next to it. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So he's like, yeah, uh, bedrooms, 13th floor. They're shaped like bird houses. That's why your canaries, you can fit at that size. Like this? Yes. I'm just going to fly around for a bit. Watch out for the cats. I'm going to go right <laughs> back to the birdhouse on the 13th floor. Uh, your, can I cast my your, spells? You, Yes? Oh, okay. He's like, I have work to do. And he just kind of levitates up and goes into another chamber. That's marked. No entrance. I'm busy. As a sign, just kind of conjures on the door. And then in brackets, making out, making hats. And then just steps in through that door. Uh, Druk is fucking tired of shit. Oh! He pokes his head out. There will be breakfast in the morning. He goes like he like focuses. He like puts a hand on his forehead and he closes his eyes and he like focuses. And I know what food you all like. And he closes the door again. <laughs> Eclipse, Henry. Ooh. Last time you saw him, he wasn't this. 
friendly? No. Or... It seems like he's lonely. Yeah. Like he's just kind of he's oh. he's been lonely. <laughs> and he's just like new people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah. nervous. You're all when you all close your eyes, you all turn it you all turn it can, into little canaries. Like the size of canaries. Uh, and uh we're told thirteenth floor is where all your where the guest rooms are all shaped like birdhouses. Yeah, Jack's going finding, I guess, the one that he feels more inclined to. And then... They all look roughly the same. They're all the same. Yeah, he goes in there and then... There's like four poster beds. There's like these elegant like showers. Uh, there's also like uh, like in-ground baths. Uh, it's like very like... It looks like each room probably costs like 100,000 gold to like maintain. But because the magnificent mansion is just there... Yeah, uh, Druck just immediately goes showers, and then tries to stitch himself up or and okay. do whatever uh, medical attention okay. that he would need for acid. Sure. And uh, and <laughs> when you all like eventually like go to your rooms, each room has a different mural of Aegis the Twin Dragon painted on it, mm. like on the ceiling. Do you all just retire to your rooms then? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to start writing... Uh, when I get to my room, I'm going to start writing a letter to... My wife. My wife. My wife. Right. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, is going to actually start writing a letter. Um, actually... When you are in your rooms, you are no longer a canary. It seems it's, oh, only, way, it's only to access your room. You, you, you need to be a canary. But once you're inside, you're no longer a canary. He'll he'll let Zeph out to okay. be around and hang out, but he is gonna write a letter, uh, a a letter of request for um, special hats, but protective that have protective eye gear that look like um, <laughs> the best way to describe it, like those uh like skull cap bicycle oh yeah, yeah motorcycle yeah. oh hats. cool okay but each of them are gonna be like special designed um sure with, like studs and stuff and he's gonna request that they have a little velcro strap that goes underneath sure uh that's adjustable to various sized heads um so you're basically asking for like motorcycle helmets yeah he wants okay. oolf helmets <laughs> oolf helmets okay yeah for the faust and the furious perfect he wants six uh, if you want those customized in any way, just send me a list. Um, okay. Coin, uh, are you doing anything? Uh, just maybe um, hoping to pass along my curiosity about Aegis. Or, like, I don't mm -hmm. know if I, if I run into him. I'd love to ask him some questions about Aegis. But if oh, it's yeah, just, you could, you could if he's retiring. Uh, I don't want to mess with him while he's on his work, you know. He's on a ship. Maybe breakfast. You get a sense that he might that might be a topic that would uh garner his interest and it wouldn't be something he wouldn't be opposed of talking about. And then maybe I'll put I'll put Lenny to bed and Okay. There's and, like a uh, there's like a big kind of it's yeah, it's a big bed. Enough room for both of you. Bed. But not big enough for both you and Lenny. Oh. Like three California kings. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly for Lenny and then just like a Yeah. Yeah. Little corner for you. You're just you're just a little guy. You you fit in there I'm so just a, so good. Just a little guy. Yeah. Yeah, you get you uh, get a sense with like all the murals and everything, and the fact that Drug said he's a he's a gold dragon. He might be open to the conversation. I mean, I also the 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 imagery of the canaries canaries is not lost on coin. So I suppose I'd go see. Okay. Give him a little beak knock. Oh yeah, because when you once you leave the birdhouse, you're back to being a canary. He opens the door. Oh, you can see he's like curling the. He's like got like a bunch of garments, like silks and that, like draped over him, and like measuring. He's holding like measuring tapes and needles, like sewing needles. Yes, is everything to your liking? It is your a uh, very considerate host. I was wondering if um. Have you ever seen the text of Aegis? Because I happen to have 
one in my bag. A very long time ago. Um, where did you come across it? They've all been lost, essentially. There's only a few of us who I know of who still actively worship Aegis, so I'd be curious. Yeah, it's... it's it is... Um, obviously, I mean... There's no surprise in me saying that I am a follower of Bahamut, but uh, I just wanted to Here. share this here, relic come in, with you. Come inside. Yeah, we can. You can sit down. You don't have to be a canary in here. And sure. you close the door behind you, and you can see it's just a it's a clothing workshop. Mannequins everywhere, just with different weird outfits on them. And as soon as you enter this room, you're back to being coin. And I also want you to know. You do not have to be who you are not around me as well. This room is very large to be a clothing workshop. And he nods, and the visage of Sigmund fades away, and you see before you a massive uh, metallic great worm. Not an ancient dragon, but far superior, a golden great worm. The biggest dragon you've ever seen. Just basically fills this space. Yeah, that is sound. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, just feel, feel it stretches the out like a cat. <laughs> yeah. I I that is uh just impressive. You've yeah. Go go on get it. Um go on get it. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it man. Just get your stretch on. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. I um. I wondered if we could um, just briefly talk. I mean, the you are a staunch follower of Aegis, yes. Yes, uh, I have been for quite some time. A few of us that I know that are still out there, we actually served him quite closely. Uh, in a war a very long time ago. We fought alongside him in the war. And due to our services, he granted us this gift, the ability to become... He made us dragons as our gift. Yes. That... I wonder if you could help... If you could help me understand something that might help me understand who I am because it oh. seems as though Aegis had a split mm. and became the most uh, became a, a, a polarity shifted and Aegis became two very separate beings and I, I feel as though there are times when I want to act with the compassion of Bahamut, but I feel the deep rage inside me that makes me want, it, it takes over all of the, the power that I have, which is, you know, through Bahamut I wield it, but there are times when those I care about, uh, if they are at all in trouble, I I fear there is nothing that would stop me from destroying anyone in my way, and that power terrifies me. Is this something that Aegis would, would have dealt with, or perhaps that duality is something there was a balance yes. between the two. Yes. A balance. When the split happened, not so much. The rest of my order, we were there the day the split occurred. Oof. Um, and things were tough for a while. Most of my order, when the split happened, 
we grieved. And that grief led to us doing things we weren't super proud of. In the name of ages. Um, recently, very recently, we felt the gaps or the the seams that exist between the two start to mend between the two halves. And it's why my order and I have been a little more active in what we've been doing. We've been getting signs of something not quite sure. They're new. Um, what do you know of the War of Ascension? I mean, that I've let a lot of information wash over me. Fair. And it, a lot of it has, um, but I essentially know that... There were several relics, and a lot of people were hurt, and I've seen some of these relics, and they are uh, powerful, and it is a war, and specifically a battle, that changed the face of our world, so that kind of power is not something to be taken lightly, that kind of activity is not something to relegate to myth so lightly. Those of us hidden away in other planes or protected by certain magic, we retain the memories of that time that were erased, forgotten. The Pantheon at the time, when Cathosis was to be defeated, had decided that, as he was the previous Lord of the Dawn Life, the original, that a righteous, balanced deity should take his place, and the Pantheon had decided that that would be Aegis, as he signifies duality and balance. Another god in the Pantheon disagreed, or one who had ascended to godhood during the conflict disagreed. And Armathnon became Lord of the Dawn Life and split Aegis into Bahamut and Tiamat. using Tiamat oh. to help him maintain his new position and not wanting his crimes to be remembered he wiped the memories of every living thing in the world again aside from those few of us who are protected or on other planes of existence there are few who remember my order are but a few and we are doing our best to restore Aegis to who he is supposed to be, the Lord of the Dawn Life, the prime god in this pantheon. That anger you feel, use it. But try not to let it consume you. Use it I, where you can. Yes. I... That is what I was taught by my mentor. Yardlin, the patient. Yes. 
You know Yadalin? Us faithful to Aegis have done what we can and have communed with who we can to ensure that the truth comes out that his teachings aren't lost that he's made whole again I Yadlin had only ever mentioned Bahamut to me. We That was the god that most of us went to when the split occurred. It it seems like a reasonable pivot to me. But we do seek to reunite them and make them whole and as I said we can feel the seams in the split repairing something happened somewhere we closed we've closed two rifts so far and we use we've teamed up with a group of what seems like random cool with each other friends mm -hmm. I know we, I know them personally we yes 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 the recipient of those hats we they are doing essentially the same thing you all seem to be doing or yes. they did the same thing you all seem to be doing they saved this world from a false god almost 40 years ago huh. well, we, are, we are doing the best we can to restore balance and if that is what we're doing we're doing what we can because um yeah Without any shadows, how do you even know the light is on? Correct. Would you be willing to aid us in this endeavor when your current task is done with these rifts? Restoring Aegis to his position where he was supposed to be. Uniting all dragonkind again. We need someone angry. I... I've tried so hard to embrace the balance that I was taught by Yarlin the patient. And I will do what I can to restore Bahamut. But I will have a... You know, every time I say the T word, it does feel like I have bit into a lemon and I just want, there's so much, so much spit built up that I want, it is a nightmare. Segment spit. What? <laughs> you too? Does that make you feel better? I mean, I did not want to disrespect, uh, there's so many, this, an alarming amount of high thread count silk in here. Oh, There's, it's fine. It's not real. It is. In a way. <laughs> it's a you, long story. Um, this is a massive amount of curveballs. But yes, I, I will... I, I, I think to restore balance to the world would be just... A, that is what we are all... Like, that is... It is what Yadlin wanted, and it is what... I fight for with every flap of my wings, with every breath of 
my being, I, I move to uh, restore balance. I ask that you come with me then. And he, still in massive dragon form, walks de- up over to like the nearest wall and uh, just looks at it, closes his eyes, and the wall parts, revealing a corridor. And all along the corridor, you see flames on torches just. Follow me. How, how, how long are we going to be? How long will no, you need? Not long at all. Okay, well, since the hall's big enough. Hell yeah. He turns into a, a, a young adult silver cool. dragon. Hell yeah. By, by putting the sword, uh, mm-hmm. touching it to his chest, and as it comes to his chest, they like, sort of like armor comes around, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. But like grows inside, cool. it extends out, and so you just. He leads you down this massive corridor, and all, all along the walls, you see portraits of people, various people. You don't recognize any of them until you get to the end, um, and you see a portrait of Hazar, and you see a portrait of um, Trendelishtin, the drow that you saved from. Uh, Minithis. And he leads you to this door, and he parts, he just opens it with his two front legs, and he leads you into this chamber, kind of like a audience chamber, circular audience chamber, kind of like the Colosseums, almost, but not a Colosseum, just how the seating's arranged. And there's a massive pedestal in the center. Like one of those, like, uh, the turn of the century yeah. surgery tables. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, this massive pedestal looks like it's perfectly fit for a dragon to sit on. And uh, he climbs up onto it and motions for you to follow. Did you go and goes up? He's like, "All right, your friends are going to be a little confused, but hopefully they'll not notice anything." And the door's shut, and all of you that are sleeping in your birdhouses, you don't really notice anything happen. But if you were outside your birdhouse, you would just, people would just see a couple birdhouses floating in the air, because the Magnificent Mansion is currently gone. Um, and you're standing on this platform, and coin, you can see rifts open up in this chamber, and three figures walk out. You recognize Hazar. He steps up through a rift and he sees you. Not expecting to, you get a sense. Well, he does. He actually, yeah, he does recognize you, even though you're in dragon form. He sees you and goes, "Good to see you, Coin." You see the drow condition come out, does the same. The other figure that comes out, you definitely don't recognize. You see this hill dwarf, wearing gold and green armor, a full bucket helm with dragon eyes, like draconic eyes underneath the helmet. He's wielding a very large spiked hammer. Uh, and Sigmund is going to go, uh, that is Hazar. And Hazar shifts into the visage of an ancient white dragon. The same white dragon you saw uh, in Remnant, the one that encountered you all when you were on your wolves. Oh, it's the same guy. Oh. <laughs> Who you know as the kids call him Snowwing. 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 Aww. Uh, the drow turns into an ancient black dragon. And then you just see this dwarf who does not turn into a dragon. But, uh, and then he introduces Trendle and he looks at the dwarf and goes, This is a member we lost a very long time ago. We have found him again. This is Kiridin Ambergrave. <clears throat> we are the wardens. Knights, paladins who serve Aegis the Twin Dragon. And Sigmund briefly goes back to his form of Sigmund. I ask you to do the same if you wouldn't be so inclined. And he looks over at uh, he looks over at Hazar and he's like I imagine you brought what I asked for, and Hazar nods and 
also approaches the platform, as does Trendel, and this dwarf called Kiradin all approach the platform, and they say, would you please go back to your self? Me? Yes. Oh, I, this is, I'm, yeah, I still have about 56, I, oh, never, it's fine, it's good, it's good. And then, uh, just, uh, taps the, uh, sword, mm -hmm. and sort of, come, like, shrinks down to, okay. like, I think grabs the sword, puts it back. You see his our hand, you see his our hand segment this bundled, like, cloth, kind of like a long object, and he unwraps it, and you see he produces this beautiful uh, long sword made of solid platinum. Would you please kneel? This uh, coin kneels and it's just but head down. I no, I am. I do not know that I am worthy. She believed in you, as do we. Then, uh, then I I will take the oath with you. And he uh, places the the tip of the sword on your left shoulder. This is the same weapon that was used tonight your mentor. Feels right that it's the same uh, for you. Coin Harting. Do you promise to to the best of your ability aid us in setting things right restoring the balance the justice and good above all the three of them smile <clears throat> actually can't see Kieran and smile you just see because he's bucket helmet um you see, his, you see his smile lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you... Sorry, I haven't done this in a very long time. Do you... promise to... defend this world against those who would seek to harm it. Honor and protection to the weak and defenseless. And as you say this, the sword, like with everything you say, the sword begins to glow a little bit. Did some stuff happen? Didn't expect to happen or yet. Um, yep. Uh, cool. Yeah, you, you definitely see he's struggling to kind of like figure out because yeah, he's like it's been sorry it's been like thousands of years since we've done this. Um, I think that's the gist of it, actually. Um, yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Just you know, and honor and correction 
to the enemies of justice and good. But I think, yeah, that's, a, I mean, as far as I know, it's kind of the big three. Also, generally, you know, try not to be a real, you know, dirty birdie. Like, that's kind of the, I think. Oh, a little bit of fun is okay here and there. Yeah, yeah, just not too much, you know. Oh, I remember the last one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Will you strive to be the best you can be, even in the face of failure? Honor and forbearance of oneself. Then, without further ado, I think. I ask that thee rise, sir. Coin Harting, Knight of the Wardens. So before Coin rises, he's going to like open an eye and like check over both shoulders. Just so, last so, time this was happening. This so was not a good... as you look over both shoulders, you don't see those people. You don't see people trying to kill you or anybody else. You see a familiar hand on your left shoulder and as you look up you see smiling down at you the familiar face of Yadalin the patient so then a, yeah a thigh squat flex just boom pops right up ready and as ready for action these dragons gather around you, they say, well, we look forward to saving the world with you. And that's where we'll end the session for the week. Yeah, Corey! <clears throat> oh! Oh, shit! Hey, girl, hi! <laughs> Kiridin! Kiridin! Kiridin yeah. Ambergrave! Bye. Oh. He, he survived. The stasis ended, so of course. I was yeah. wondering because you One mentioned that. Two. I was wondering where he was. Yeah, Coin, you, you guys know two. that Coin is going to start saying whenever he introduces himself, he's going to. <laughs> Coin Harding. Oh, I renamed myself is. in the Zoom chat. Hell, Hell yeah! yeah. I renamed myself oh, in the uh, Zoom. Look chat. at that. <laughs> And yeah, he, wow. said, he said all nice. He gets one title. Those of us, seven. those of us who serve uh, hey, ages with, you know, honor and everything, get turned into dragons if they so choose. So it's fucking official now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, coins a knight of the wardens, which is really cool. Um, also, I have changed my D and D Beyond character yeah. sheet as well. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's, I guess that's where we'll end it for the week. We'll be back next cool. week with, uh, oh, actually, because I got to leave this on a, sorry, I got to actually have this on a, you know, no, we'll cover that in the next session. Like the first few minutes will be you guys getting teleported to Felmarinthus and then we'll go back to the previous group because you guys mm -hmm. got to have a long rest still and then we'll deal with all that. But um, yeah, I, I know I've got a couple of weird things. But uh, that's where we're going to end it. Uh, feels like a good ending point. So, uh,